What's up, Fire Nation? It's your boy Rico, along with my little big cousin G Baby and my boy Raul the Zookeeper. And we are the Friendly Fire Podcast, the hottest podcast on either side of the Mississippi, episode 25. 25. Baby. We can rent a car yeah, now. Yes, we Let's can. Go. How are we doing, fellas? Doing good. Say? Doing great. Zoo, talk to me. I'm doing splendid. Splendid. Welcome back. Ah, uh, yes. from your vacation, on, my friend. This is our first recording back. This, yeah, that's gonna be like two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be our first on time recording in, in like two weeks. We will get into your vacation shenanigans and everything. Nice. But first, I have a question of the day, gentlemen. Kicking it, it off. Uh, it's based off of all the the kerfuffles and shenanigans going on in the music world. Oh, no, kerfuffles! No. So I, I have to ask. Exciting, so. Has the music experience been tainted? And if it has, is it at more so the fault of the artist or the listeners? And I'm a, and once you guys answer, I'm gonna give you guys the the backgrounds to why I'm asking this question. What do you mean by tainted? Are we talking so, about a Mr. Uh, Aubrey and th- Mr. West? Well, yes, but uh, the reason. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the background first. So, Ibrahim, <laughs> uh, uh, vice president or president of uh, Dreamville Records. Uh, you know, well, once, once holes in this one, too. Once everything dropped, he was like, "You guys don't even listen to enjoy the music anymore. Y'all literally just listen to compare." Cause literally that was the first thing once uh once Kanye dropped everybody was like oh well you gotta wait for that that Canadian wait for that and yeah, literally yeah. as soon as you it are, dropped, like, oh this was ten times better than Donda, and he, and he was like y'all don't even listen to it, enjoy it so yeah. that begs the question has the music experience been ruined because now with everybody with these react yeah, pages yeah. and it has has that been ruined and is it more so at the fault of the artist or the fans? Um. I have seen a lot of that, like when someone drops something, any, n- not even just uh, West and uh, Drake, mm-hmm. but like with any, like when J. Cole drops, any, any artist that drops, the yeah. first thing is, is it mid? Is it, like literally, the, the music hasn't even been out 24 hours. And everybody like, somebody's oh, already got mid. a react video. Like, oh, nobody no, sat and listened to it. Yeah. Oh no, it's good. It's bad. Like no one, yeah, no one takes time to absorb it. Like cause so- sometimes something at first listen might not hit. Maybe not a second listen. Maybe you hear it two months later. Someone's playing it at a party at the right event, mm-hmm. and, and like, it. and then you're like, "Damn, this shit hit at this event, yep. or this hits at the bonfire." This, hits this at the scenario, beach. like, or it, maybe a month ago, my life was going great. Five months later, I'm like sad, or something happened in my life, and, and now this hits. Yeah, you yeah, know, something crazy, <laughs> and then like that changes your whole like perspective on said album or song. I mean, it's it's just like because I feel like people are trying to just get a general consensus on things instead of just letting. And I get like like that too. All that yeah, trash. We, that we trash. all fall into it. But it's like you yeah, listen I mean, to we, an we, album we, six we seven. Reviewed yeah, we yeah three we days after you see, the, which I think is why I, which out. is why I titled the things like the way too early because yeah. it's like realistically we can't have yeah. an outright oh yeah this is the it, yeah it, it came may, out it may three days age, later we reviewed. It, 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 I don't think it will, but it may age terribly yeah. down the line. Right. And like uh, uh, Certified Lover Boy dropped two days ago. We're about to review it. We're going to review that. So it's just all you have to wait to. But, you, what were but, you but no, and, uh, I appreciate you, you know, breaking that up. But it's just like you want to get this general consensus of not like, hey, this was just a solid album. You were like, this shit is either trash or it's not. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what everybody wants. Yeah. And I joke around with that, but it's like, like that can't, like everybody just wanted down to, it's either great or it's trash. Yeah. And it's like, it's great, and it's not trash. But you can't, you, you, you can't it's not just say like, it was an okay. You album. can't just say okay, it's a good album. Yeah, you gotta say it's either good, mid, or it's trash. Uh-huh. Classic, mid, or trash. And yeah. that's why, I, okay, oh, if it's a classic, well then, well Drake shit gotta be, and it's gonna be twenty times better than. So if that's a classic, then he's shitting on that. So it's like, it's it's perspective to everybody. Which is so funny, like to speak specifically. Let's say specifically about Drake and, and Kanye. It's so funny because at their core, I think they're really like a lot of the same person. Like, like they dropped the exact but, same album. But they're but a lot of times their music is different enough to where it's like you can enjoy both of these. Like without, but it's like because somebody said Don that has is a classic necessarily. Southern Fried Little Boy got to get a Grammy as soon as it touched the yeah. as soon as it touched Apple Music, or else it was the worst album to be put out that year. Yeah, and it's like because you got to think even you talking about an old white boy. That rated uh, my beautiful daughter was fancy. Uh, people yeah, have Tano. people have careers just off yeah, just of rating. first listen. He, this is I, good I, or bad. I thought because he he rated Donda and he rated it higher than uh, my beautiful daughter's fancy. So then it's just like and then one one of the things what's so funny is that literally folks are just getting paid off of an opinion. Yeah. But it's the same as the sports analyst yeah. Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless. With sports Everything they say different because the numbers matter in sports. Numbers matter. Yes, but at the same time they just they form an opinion based off the numbers. That's true. 
everything is not necessarily seated in fact. It's just but, based off of what I can see, this is my opinion on X, Y, Z. Because like, even when you showed me the numbers for uh, the, the the first and second day, I was joking like, oh, well, Drake sold 40, uh, he had 41 million streams. That don't necessarily mean it was a better album. And even your, uh, your rebuttal was like, oh, well, most people went back to, to, to Ye's than Drake. That don't necessarily mean that makes it a better album. But it's all like, what is your interpretation of these numbers? Yeah. And, and you know what else? It's social media ruins pretty much everything. <laughs> because, <laughs> like, it's, like I said, it's the greatest thing to ever happen. The and the worst, worst thing. And, you know what I'm saying? Because you look at it and it's like, you look at J. Cole when he dropped his. Mm-hmm. It wasn't really no prep. He set a basketball rim on fire. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? It was like, and I'm not, I'm not doing that now, but it's like, you didn't know what the hell he was going to talk about on this album. You don't know what this was album was going to be about. It could have been about cotton candy and Skittles for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It wasn't nothing. But then you got Drake talking big cash shit for the past couple years. Like, man, I bought a $650 million jet for the fuck of it. Mm-hmm. Cause I wanted to go to Wisconsin once. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like he's talking this and this, and it's like, there's nobody on this level. So then you wake up like, wait, I was, I'm here. So stay in your lane. And then it makes it a bigger thing. Like there's Drake's lane. And then there's Kanye West lane. Mm -hmm. Kanye don't go into that lane and Drake can't go into that lane. So they can both exist. Yeah. It's just the both fandoms suck. Yeah. Their community suck. And then the hives, hives in general just suck. And then them two as people are both petty. So it's like, that's why it's it's money. My homeboy said like they're two sides of the same coin. There's so much alike, even though their music is cam 50. You was, explain that, explain okay, that to the people who don't understand So that. Cam and 50 Cent, if you didn't know, had been shot nine times. Uh, and I, every I, time I he know. opens this his is, mouth, yeah, something he, new he explains that. I've never said that before. He's, <laughs> yeah, no, I had just found out not too long ago. <laughs> oh, I'm a gangster grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Deal with it. <laughs> but no, it's like. Every time he opens out, he shows Because like, his attitude is like, hey, I've been shot nine times. And I've been through all of this, and I'm still here. Yeah, and every you time, can't tell me anything yeah. about nothing. And Cameron has his own story that isn't that tragic, but he's like, "Hey, I know you, and this is me, and I don't, I'm not, I don't care about that. Mm-hmm. Like, I will shoot you nine times." <laughs> and he's like, "Yes, and I will I'll, shoot you nine yeah, times. I'll get you up to eighteen real quick." Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like two niggas that want to kill each other, but don't want to mess the money up. Yeah. So that's it's true. like we're not gonna shoot at each other. But we're going to, like, the most pettiest thing. Like, I'm going to put your childhood best friend on. <laughs> like, he's going to be a part of G-Unit. <laughs> and that's, oh, it's like, oh, well, okay, who, whatever, who is this dude? But Cameron, oh, man. <laughs> you, know, you know, that's, eat, that's <laughs> eating him up on the inside. So now he got to go buy out the store that sells 50 Cent favorite candy bar. <laughs> now 50 Cent one is like, oh, what, what the hell are they two doing? It's like, it's a petty all. Yeah. yeah. Like, who's going to out petty? Who's going to be the person yeah. who just, it's that like, was too far. Like when uh, 50 Cent uh, bought like the first like five rows of Ja Rule's concert. Yeah. And, like, it's like, you like, have to perform. It, There's going to be yeah. a concert here. And yeah. it's going like, to be I'm empty, but Ja Rule's still getting paid. But when the video show, it's going to be like, damn, it's empty. Even though Ja Rule already got that money. Yeah. From like, it's sold out. It's empty. Because then it's like, and if you don't perform and 50 Cent shows up, hey, I paid for a Ja Rule concert. <laughs> and that's what 50 Cent will do. Look, I paid $3,000 for this whole stadium, and I want my $3,000 back for time wasted. Yeah. And he'll do that. And if 50 Cent shows up and Ja Rule shows up, now you have to perform. In front of In front of 50, 50 Cent. You can't just, oh, man, why the hell? Like, if 50 Cent's going to sit there. <laughs> hey, hey, do that one again. Do that. That shit suck. He's gonna do him. that. And he's gonna do that for the whole concert. And you're gonna have to do at least an hour. Hey. So you, you see what I'm saying? He's gonna. You know. <laughs> where's Ashanti? Where's Van Jones? Money you see exactly. what I'm saying? Like that's who he is, and that's what Kanye. Like yeah, Drake. I bought a plane. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm finna buy this stadium. Yeah. Or like, yeah, like, that. you see what I'm saying? <laughs> like you rented out a baseball field. Like I'm finna start a baseball league. Yeah, like that's what he. That's the petty level. Yeah. It's just a lot of cash. Oh, in the uh, in the well, I don't know. If we were gonna talk about this, but the leaked. Uh, yeah, uh, we can Andre talk about it. Now. We can. We, we can. We can make. The, well, go, uh, we can make CLB yeah. just CLB. Okay. Now we can talk about yeah. this now. I'm. I'm. Look, nothing else matters music wise right now besides. Andre Lauren Benjamin's yeah. verse three stacks on on the life of the party because you haven't heard it too bad. Try to find it on SoundCloud. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, hopefully yeah. Somebody... I got it on my phone. I screen recorded it. I, yes, we're, we're all <laughs> yes. screen recording right now. Yes, yes. <laughs> but no, this was by far in my, in my in my in my opinion <laughs> in my opinion it was one of the most beautiful verses I've heard recently. And then mostly because it was him and what he was talking about. I'm yeah. like wow. And then. Mr. 
Mr. Mr. West. Mr. West comes in. We're in the F, fuck F, is F you Drake. What you, what you, you ghost right? You should be ashamed that you had that ghost right now. Like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> He's out here claiming games. Yeah, and I'm sitting there like, mm, What's going the, on? The two levels don't fit. And remember, this is what we talked about, yeah. I want to say, two weeks ago. I asked y'all, what do y'all think? About folks having features on there, and they the, the the rapper the feature is like this is the topic at hand, so I'm gonna rap about the topic at hand, and then old dude, oh yeah, I got a beef, I want to settle, I'm gonna just yeah. bring it up. This was prime example, yeah, right. prime Lord. example of that. Zoo, we talked about this. Hundred three dollars. Explain, explain to me your your point of view. Three stacks are just out here at neighborhood gas stations playing the flute. Yep. Yeah. Just putting on shows for random people. People don't even know he's hundred three dollars, and he's playing them the flute. Yep. He just uh, Kanye, you know, hit him up. That's his man's. They were on uh, Life of Pablo together. Yep. You know, they've they've linked up many times before. I mm-hmm. don't know if we'll call that Life of Pablo. A, yeah, I know that's a feature. He, you know he, he, he also bamboozled. Thirty hours. <laughs> you're bamboozled yet again. Yeah, yeah. And this time, I, I had even like the day before it got leaked. I hit uh, with the group chat up. Yes, you did. And I was like, rumor has it, Andre T. Thousand and Ye got a yeah. song coming. I refuse to get my hopes up. I'm like, I'm not about to be hurt again. <laughs> oh man, you buy got, another three thousand. You 000. got two riddlers in the same place oh we never getting this never Facts. never and and lo and behold i wake up and there was like oh drake leak the yeah, he's yeah. a song with Andre 3000, mm-hmm. and I'm like, damn, that's kind of petty, but well, you know, whatever. I'll Kanye, Kanye yeah. was probably never going to release this, Mm-mm. so we'll get it. <laughs> go on the tube, go on the Twitter, find it there, and everybody was loving it. Everyone was telling Drake, you know, you kind of messed up on this one, sir. You Congratulations. You I have an opinion yourself. on that, but keep it going. Was, uh, keep DJ going. Khaled meme. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the long run, may- maybe it helped out Drake in the long run. Uh, from what I explained there, uh, earlier in our group text, I'll, I'll explain it in a bit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was messed up with Kanye to do that because you know he was on him. He Kanye did a couple lines where he said, um, like Donda was my greatest ghostwriter, and like where it fit. Yeah. The thing that was probably the original on the original, and then, and then he was just like, nah, nah, nah. And nah. then after that, he was game banging. He was like, I'll buy your your whole the ACG, ACG thing, yeah, the yeah. ACG. I'll buy the whole fashion industry. And he said, cut uh, it out. Like, whoa, he said, uh, I, was, I got some ACG boots. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I made eight oh eight, so I'm everyone's dad. He was just going in yeah, on no, everybody. He was he didn't care. It was a good song. It was yeah. a great song. It was a good. And no, it first, was two good verses two that good didn't verses. need to be together. Yeah, yeah. Then, <laughs> two good verses that made a melody. <laughs> with uh with DMX, you know, at the end, so it that got sad dope. again. I almost cried again. At yeah, that. it got sad again, and it's like, damn, this is like a fire song. It's like amazing. And at first, people didn't really have a problem with it, and then Andre 3000, Mr. Benjamin, so, uh, we can't find him for years, and then out of nowhere, we where he, where he just gives out a whole ten page interview. Yeah, but <laughs> he does and, that. He'll yeah. just he'll do he'll do like one little thing, and all of a sudden he got some interview with Rick Rubin just yeah. out of nowhere. And like, oh. and then now we're like, he's like, yeah, the this is when this is supposed to go down. This is supposed to be a sad song, you know. Where I pour my heart out, mm-hmm. and now I'm in the middle of this beef. Now people probably think I'm dissing Drake because you know the title of the album right. is Andre is Kanye West and Andre 3000. Um, Drake this Drake, uh, Drake this yeah. literally right there in bold letters. So you're like, damn, three stacks. And, and it's, <laughs> it's, it's, and where's Big Boy at? Jake gonna call Big Boy, make a track with him. I, I don't know. I would have much rather the Pop Smoke track just be the Andre verse. If you want to be petty, like no, you, I just like well, yeah. why don't you just do like, that, and uh, then you can release on a deluxe, deluxe, whatever, yeah. like whatever you want with that on that beat. But mm-hmm. <clears throat> so my my opinion on this, and, and we were talking because you said that you thought. Andre may have had him pull that, be like, hey, mm-hmm. this ain't, no, I don't care what deluxe you got going on, this isn't going on there. And I was like, I would do the same thing. And you was like, why? So I want to explain to to the people who are watching and listening. I'm like, if I'm, like, once again, I'm cool with both parties. I, yeah. I have songs with both parties. I have nothing against whatever's going on with Drake. I, I like you said, I'm basically a nomad at this point. Yeah. I do what I want, when I want. If somebody I really rock with asks me for a feature, all right, I got you. Right. I don't do, I'm not even recording with my best friend right now, but I decided to give you a verse because I rock with you and I like the message that you're putting out. Yeah. I pour my heart into this verse basically yeah. for the first time since they passed, speaking about my parents passing away. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, well, it's explicit, so it's not going to go on the main album. I get that. Cool. You may release this as a whatever. Then all of a sudden, I hear the song finally, 
and it's just you being petty, just trying to fix an argument. Yeah. Now I feel like I wasted my time. I, like you, like we was like joking. Now I'm man. not gonna do this again. Yeah. Like, yeah. like now, because people were saying, like he even said, like I want to record with all these people because I want to be on Certified Lovable. I want to record with Lil Baby, with with Kendrick, with Lil Wayne. I love all of these people. Yeah. So for and I think that was him making sure, like, hey, I ain't got whatever petty beef y'all got going on. Don't don't ask me to do a verse. This is what you're going to include into it. Yeah. I think that was like his little PSA to everybody when he started dropping names. Yeah. He was like, if y'all got something y'all need to settle between each other, ask me to do a different song. But see, yeah. they, they both screwed themselves. Because, Andre? Well, not Andre. I'm talking uh, about Drake and Kanye. Screwed. Uh-huh. They both screwed themselves because, one, he don't trust Kanye off of what you did to this verse. And then next, I don't trust Drake because you leaked a verse, a song I'm on without my permission. So it's like, you both fucked yourself. So now I'm going to get Kendrick and Little Baby and Jay-Z mm-hmm. and I'm going to hop on his stuff. Yeah. yeah. He's like, that's what I'm going to do. Kendrick, if you let ever hear this, I don't know what part of the album you own, Fact. but it, you, you just got to add a separate yeah. song. Yeah, because he already submitted You better get that other Gemini on that song. That's yeah. all I got to say. All yeah. right? Jay-Z, you might have to just do an album just so you can get on the song. We need as many. We need huh. as, just give him a solo. Yeah. We need as many Andre 3000 verses as we can get because it don't look like he's linking back up with Big Boy, even though they close still. They may not be doing another album. I just got to take that in the chest. Yeah. But I need y'all to, to, to figure it out and get Andre on more mo songs. Bring Andre back into 2021. Somebody threw a chip yeah. on him, the spider tracer. <laughs> got his ass. Where's he at? I know exactly where he's at. He had the BP playing the flute right now. Oh, is he in an oil barrel in Costa Rica? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why is he bobbing up and down? What is going on? That's got to be the creative, like, uh, like, speaking on Andre, like the greatest couple, Andre and uh, Erica Badu. Yeah. yeah. That's like such a creative, dope yeah. couple. Mm-hmm. That's, 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 it's just like, <laughs> all right, that makes sense. Erica Badu is out here selling perfume that smells like her private parts and whatnot. Mrs. Own and Own Badu. <laughs> <laughs> Call Tyrone on the phone while you <laughs> do that girl like that, boy. You ought to be ashamed. The song mm-hmm. wasn't about me, and that ain't my name. <laughs> <laughs> Bars, check out Rigo. Oh, yeah, got to. Oh, matter of fact, I have more stuff coming out. Ooh. I did a cover to 93 to infinity. Did Drake this? Uh, called, Ooh, <laughs> called 96, putting his hat in the ring? Called 96 <laughs> to infinity. Andre, if you hear this, I got an open verse for you. Yeah. I'll come up with something just for you. Uh, but yeah, I got some. I got a new uh, thing coming up soon. Hope Rico going to be the California mudslide? Like uh, J Electronica? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I slide across these beats. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, basically, this is like, and then we'll get into uh, Zoo's vacation. What I'm doing with the, a lot of these like covers, freestyles, is just basically just building my like ability to write. I'm challenging myself to keep writing, jacking for beats until I basically. He's coming uh, at you, Drake, directly uh, until I uh, mm. until I release like my own project. So like this is kind of like a little rollout thing I'm doing and yeah. recording the video. I think it's not completely different, but I've never recorded myself really rapping in front of anything. Yeah. So it's like it's a way for me to kind of get out my shell and out my bubble. So I'm really enjoying yes, that. Should. And I've heard your album. We got Cameron disses on there. We yeah. got 50 Cent disses. My boy Rico gonna out petty them all. You got a whole spoken <laughs> word at the end. <laughs> yup. Oh, got, man. The album starts with a voice call for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna be late to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I might need to get that. <laughs> I like that. I do that. I like that. So, hey, start. uh, yeah. I'm frolicking with Zendaya right 30, now. <laughs> 30 minutes after the pod was supposed to start. <laughs> Two hours after the pod was supposed to start. Two hours later. Hey, guys, so I'm on my way. <laughs> All right, but let's get into your vacation, my yeah. friend. You went back to the motherland. That Africa. I did. <laughs> uh, how was it? How was Willow doing? All of that. Talk it was to good. Me. How so, was it? you know, it was a, just a week. Mm-hmm. But a week was... Was enough. He came back floating. Y'all didn't see it. He floated in here into his chest. <laughs> yeah. And just, 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 just smelling like just the smell his like motherland. Endless steak and lobster and yeah. drinks and just, all that. It smelled like a whole carne asada. It was just, he was going That's nuts. I was, he brought the resort to the basement. I, was, <laughs> I like it. Nah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, I went there. Uh, first touchdown in uh, Mexico City. Mm-hmm. You know, I got, got to see my grandpa for like six hours about. It was good. It was nice. Mm-hmm. Showing me his, his play. I've been to Mexico uh, plenty of times before, but this is like my grandpa's new spot. Oh, welcome to MTV Cribs. <laughs> that Mexico City edition. Money came <laughs> <through>. <laughs> I had to wire that money real quick. <laughs> I Not, got you. I got you. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because uh, we had a house. Well, we have a house over there, but... You know, it's just my grandpa over there by himself. So he mm. said, I don't need this. So he basically just rents it out to people. And then with that rent money, he got his own apartment. 
Exactly. Oh, he just cool. nice he just, little humble abode. He's just, he just watching over, just like ah, yeah. He's got the apartment next to the apartment to watch the apartment. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want nobody in his vicinity. <laughs> he just bought the whole top floor. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you got us on the wrong floor then. Hey, he still got a key to each one. Like ah, right, this this is where this the boom, I need boom, that room. room. I need <laughs> two rooms. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> facts. He got the, he got three rooms. I was like, grab me by yourself. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, grip for that. He, was like, he was like, hey, son, don't don't, don't go into that. <laughs> it's three rooms. I told you two, but it's three rooms that you really shouldn't. <laughs> you really shouldn't go in. Uh, you only here for six hours. Just don't walk that like, way. Don't just don't stay in the living this room. Area. Stay in the, I got you. Stay in the you living room. You, you need some? I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'm gonna walk you to the bathroom. I don't need you making the wrong I need turn. You looking and touching at nothing. <laughs> But yeah, right, but um, keep going, man. Then yeah, because it, it was a uh, it was a little guy trip, four of us, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, so we went back and we went to Puerto Vallarta, it was on the Pacific Ocean. Ooh, and yeah, it was nice. Uh, at first, we were all worried because uh, if you look at the weather app, it says it's raining because th- th- it's rainy season over yeah. there. Yeah, and we're like, happen. damn, it's just gonna be rain. We're just gonna be inside. Almost every but, picture I saw, it was the sun. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it, was it was sunny the entire time except Saturday. We got hit by a hurricane, Hurricane yeah. Nora. Yeah, oh, yeah. and uh, that, that was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was only category one. Okay. But I know I'm saying only. Oh, it's still yeah. so, like, so, okay. so bad. It still did some damage to the neighboring town. But uh, other than that, I don't you know, know about them niggas over there, but we was good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shelter, <laughs> domes, and all of that stuff. Force field. <laughs> but it was all good, and you know, had a great, nice, splendid time. You, you had had the taco meat out. Yeah, you just, uh, just like. Ah, this is the life. beautiful I women found, down there. Yeah, man. I had found my, because uh, before I went, I, said, like, I, I found my, my wife. wife. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, damn, a week? Like, whoa, whoa. I know That's y'all move fast. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> I know the truth. <laughs> but yeah, it was just nice. nice That's nice, good, nice, man. Nice speech. All you came back peaceful, like you. I you, did. You, it's it's weird because I was there, um, maybe like the third day, and I know it's vacation, so it's a little different, like, even though you're. But like I don't know, there's something about the area, like in the in the motherland. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, even when I was in Mexico City for that six, you know, that's where I was born. And I don't know, it hit different. It like felt like nice, calm, and peaceful. Even though it's like a busy city. I actually didn't know that you was born in Mexico. Yeah, I was born that's over there, up. and then I moved here like. I think I was like a couple months, uh, like three, four months, something like that. Your parents was like, all right, pure brand, yeah, let's bring it back. To, <laughs> time to go back. <laughs> time to go back. <laughs> but yeah, and we all came here. And my grandpa was telling me, because we were driving, when he was driving me back to the airport, he was showing me, he's like, oh, that if that job would have hired me uh, back when like you were born, uh, we would have never came to Chicago. Wow. He's, oh, like, wow. he's like, I applied there, and they, they never get, either got back to me or they turned me down. So I mean, uh, I had just lost my other job, so that's when we decided to come to Chicago. He said, How long was he in Chicago into, before he went back? Uh, he was here. Do, 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 do. I was like in ninth grade. He so was just like, like, all right, it's time to go. It's home. Like fifteen years. You grown now? We got. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. I am out of here. <laughs> yeah, like fifteen years. Well, back. out. <laughs> yeah. He's saying he's trying to move back. So we'll see. Oh snap! You about to put him in the the, the, the top room? Yeah. <laughs> now he says he wants his own spot. Oh, he's just out here. He got all that he money now. He's trying, to, he, he trying to frolic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out there. Take that air. <laughs> he tasted it. <laughs> that's what's up, man. That's, nah, what, yeah, man, that's cool. what's up. Nice I'm, I'm glad you was able to, to, yeah. to especially before, because it looked before like stuff. Before winter and Yeah, all the this winter, stuff. like the COVID might be picking, yeah. picking back up and stuff. So I'm glad you was that you were safe. Yeah. You was able that's to That's why we were also worried, because like, here in Chicago, um, like at the beginning of August, you know how they started like yeah. mass mandates. Yeah. And, yeah. and we were like, damn, maybe like, like, what do they close over there too? Because in like, uh, give it up to Mexico, they're cleaner. Here, like, every restaurant you have to they check t- check your temperature. What do Mexicans don't y'all don't they, play when it comes to health and, and cleanliness? They, I've never seen just unless they were like you know alcoholic or something. I've never yeah. just seen a sickly just yeah. Mexican if they can help it. Fact. <laughs> right. Yeah, they, they got yeah. the little temperature machine. Every single restaurant, every single grocery store, anywhere if you're gonna be inside a building, there's a you put your hand, it takes your temperature. And then they have a front greeter that everybody that walks in, they square hand Damn. sanitizer on. And they have on the on the floor, they have mats with, like, I guess, alcohol. Uh-huh. And you have to wipe your feet before you walk. It's oh, like... Yeah. No, Mexico man. not playing. It's, uh, yeah, they're not playing. It's certified mats everywhere. Yeah, the door is wide open at the gym the other day. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> no mask in sight. Yeah, they try to treat you like a no sabo kid, though, Thanks. I heard. When you, oh, when you yeah. We, we went to every single restaurant we went. Like we're like, because when we went, we're like, you know, we're, let's try to keep it as much Spanish as possible so people can be like, oh, they're tourists, blah, uh-huh. blah, blah. 
Nah, I'm trying to hustle like, you. <laughs> yeah, you say like one, you mess up one time. You say one English thing. Oh, we change them. Taylor <laughs> Swift. <laughs> rap. They put Kendrick uh, Lamar money trees. I was like, what do they know about that here? Right. I was like, what's going they on? They were just like, uh, it's the blackest like, thing we shuffle, got. The shuffle hits. Uh, Go. So it was, yeah, that's the only thing. I was like, damn, I'm trying to like experience the full deal. Now. They like, was rocking. They was playing Donda when you was down there, wasn't they? Yeah, the day after it came out, they were playing uh, Hurricane. Wow. Ah. <laughs> they the one that brought it in. They brought right. Nora in. Nora was like, oh, y'all wanted me? Right. Nora was like, damn, we heard that heat. I'm going to hear that. strikes to be. I'm going to hear slide through. Speaking of mass mandates, though, uh, a lot of professional leagues are, like, they are cracking down on their players, coaches, referees, all of that. Like, y'all need to mask up, vaccinate ah, yes. up, all of that stuff. They basically are saying, um, especially for the NFL and the NBA, I obviously don't know the other leagues like that, but they basically was like, if y'all not vaccinated, we're going to make life as hard as possible for y'all. Yeah, ain't, no, ain't no traveling. I think the NFL talking about finding people for yeah. sure. NBA wasn't going to find, but it was like, y'all need to stay in y'all hotels. If yeah. y'all aren't, uh. like, and then I think it was some places, depending on, like, the state law, they wouldn't let players go to away games. Like, that, oh, that's how serious they're, they're, they're getting. I want to know what you guys thought about that. Because, like, especially with everybody, like, oh, you can't make us shoot up and take this vaccine and all of that. And the pro, play, the pro leagues, like, I don't care. What your emotions is? Yeah, you gonna take this vaccine? Yeah. What, what y'all think? I mean, because at the end of the day, you just dribbling a basketball. Well, yeah. Like, hey, that's it. Yeah. Like, we can find somebody that'll do it for a quarter of what you made. <laughs> I'll go out there and get injured for ten thousand dollars right now. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, I would. <laughs> so. Cause I know, uh, I think uh, the United Center. You showed in the group chat. The United Center is starting to. You got to either show proof of vaccination or have a negative yeah. uh, COVID test. I'm yeah. curious how they plan on going about that. I'm always got my card on. Well, yeah, really tripping. Well, now I see they're starting to introduce the um, the little apps where you can digitally scan your COVID card in. That's so much easier. Yeah. Thank so you. So I don't know. Say that. I don't know if it's one Probably. of the approved. I feel like we said something like that, like like before. a database. Yeah. Just say, I'm vaccinated. Oh, we did. Like, we say a lot of things. They did. We Someone's listening. Right. We're honestly genius. Right. Right. LeBron obviously stealing yeah. ideas. <laughs> obviously. He hit a billion and just started acting yeah. up. Was like, I yeah. had said that one thing at the fight. You know, we had it, and he said it right. Yeah, he listening. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, because I know, because I remember, I want to say about a month or so ago, I want to say it was Ryan Tannehill of the Tennessee Titans. They were asking, because now it's everybody's business who's getting vaccinated now. Yeah. So they asked him, like, are you vaccinated? He was like, I'm going to get vaccinated because they're kind of making it basic life impossible for you if you don't. And I, it's tough because I get it at its core. It's like, you don't want to be forced to do anything. But it's like, at the same time, when you sign that $35 million contract, yeah. you sign your rights away to a lot of stuff. And then it's not like, vaccinations are new to anything like you need a vac you need to be you need like an up-to-date vaccination record when you, you uh fly wherever like especially uh, out of the country i had to make sure all my vaccinations were, were up to date i don't know if you guys had to do that for mexico or not yeah we had uh we all had to be covid uh or vac vaccinated and on the way back you had to get covid tested day so before. It's, it's like this isn't new i think people are just finding new stuff to whine about because like even in one of the houses i was delivering that somebody had a big old picket sign and it's talking about unmasked the children i'm like these are the most vulnerable people next to the right. old folks you're talking about unmasked the children I mean, people don't know what the hell. Is, man. I, I don't know. And you've been holding that in. <laughs> I, man, this world. Let is it just, out. Let this, it man, out. Man, this world is just nuts. It's because it's like, bro. Like, who are who are these people that are going against scientists? Now, trust. I I don't trust the time of day. Mm -mm. Let it be known. But it's like, all right. Like, this is gonna be a thing. So you're either gonna get ahead of it now, mm -hmm. or they're gonna force you to do it. Yeah. So it's just like. Ah, oh, we get it. And it's like, and it's like, I didn't, I didn't want to get it. I didn't want to get it either. But right now, I can't worry about what happens in thirty years. I need to worry about right now. Yeah, right. Well, I need to be able to be here thirty years from now. And if this is my best chance, yeah. And where I have pre-existing, so yeah. it's a thing. So it's like, yeah, I have to go nut up and do this. Yeah. And it's like, I'm man. around people with pre-existing. I'm around older people And there's a lot. 7 billion people in the world, and a lot of them have pre-existing conditions. That you wouldn't like even that. know. And yeah. just because you don't, doesn't mean they don't. So yeah. just 
Take one for the team. And it was, it's so funny because it's like, and now, mind you, y'all grown, y'all gonna do what y'all want to do. But it was so funny because initially, and I, you know, I, like I said, I was a, a vaccine skeptic. I wasn't anti vaccine because I've gotten my flu, my cold shot, right. all of that. But I was a vaccine skeptic because it just was like, eh, I don't know about this, especially when they had three different versions of it. I was like, and then that, one of the versions was like gone wrong. Yeah, people's arms Johnson, were swollen Johnson, up. Just I'm like, Vicks in there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm a little skeptical, which makes sense, but. Like I said, if it started affecting some money, or it's like people close to me may start like, screw it, yeah. shoot me up, yeah. call it a day. Like you said, nut up and do it. Yeah. But the biggest thing, one of the biggest things to me is like, like I said, vaccines are nothing new. And mm -hmm. and it was weird because it's like people, like the whole anti-vaccine thing was really starting when people were talking about like when they were having kids and they was like, oh yeah, he or she's just not, they don't have Down any shots. Syndrome. I they was were, like. Yeah, they were saying that it caused like Down syndrome and autism. Well, conspiracy theories were saying yeah. that there was rising the numbers. But I mean, if you look at vaccines, that's the reason we don't got the smallpox, the chicken pox. Who, when's the last time you seen the polio? Oh, yeah. Pox. Yeah, polio. I hate when they pop that new article. The up. measles. Somebody died of the bubonic plague yesterday and be like, okay. I, okay, not, like who's the yeah. filthiest nigga on earth that just died from the bubonic plague? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, are you serious? Yeah, because one thing they were saying was like, oh, well, it's not FDA approved. Like, well, half your vitamins, almost all vitamins are not yeah. FDA approved. Then it, then Pfizer got yeah, FDA that's approved. What I'm and, then like, and then they was, and what, was like, what was they arguing yeah, for? Yeah, they were like, well, did the government pay for it to get, or like, they're like, 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 they're lying. My thing is, it's like, do you want it approved? People who don't want to get vaccinated. Speak entirely too much about it. Like my yeah. thing is, if you don't like it, you, it's the same thing. Basically, like, it's you they, scared. They like the little boosies of uh, when it comes to medicine. It's like if you don't like something, yeah. okay, we you do just, not care you that you get, don't like something. You want to get a following. It's social media. When you post, I'm sad as hell today. Who what? gives a shit? Why are but you, you sad? Want, I want. I want to know why you're sad. But you see people <laughs> retweet, "Yo, guns up, sis. What you need? I'm here. You got all the people. <laughs> Who gives a shit if you're sad? <laughs> like nobody does. That you open the phone and cry because you want people to wonder why. Yep. Boosie opens his mouth. This little nigga, little Lil Nas X, <laughs> is going over here doing all the gay stuff he want to do, and it, I ain't cared not once about it because it doesn't affect me. It doesn't me. affect me in the slightest. Boosie wakes up. Looking for something Facts. to complain about. And, and it was, you showed that picture. He's like got a freaking back computer. Just like <laughs> what gay stuff has happened today with Lil Nas X. And it was a rule I just injected into myself. I created in high school. That the more somebody has to defend something, the guiltier they are. Of it. <laughs> because yeah. like in high school. Or, and I'm not even. But like, you know, in high school, you'd be like, oh, you know, you play with your homeboys. Oh, you such and such. You such, you get yeah. the dude. Oh, hell no. I'm, no, no, no. Why are you so hostile? Yeah. People would be, hey, man, you. Nah. No, nah, we not. Nah. That's it. Yeah. Like, you know, I ain't got to fight it anymore. No, I know who I am. Yeah. Like, that you, oh, man, I'll never do no blah, 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 blah. You can ask you what you would do. Man. You just said a statement. You the one, Where did the scenario you come from? You the one volunteering all this extra. <laughs> why are you defending it so hard? That's the yeah. thing. It's like, like, why are you attacking him? He ain't got nothing. He is not in your lane. He don't make the music for you. You 30 years older than him. What's the problem? Facts. It was one That's of them things. It's, it's the like, same thing. With and it's like, he's not the first person to be like, because it's very an old Southern way of thinking. Yeah. Like, And I don't want to get off the vaccine, but it's just like the same thing. And we'll go to that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, you got all these people that want their cake and eat it too. Oh, I don't want to wear the mask. Take, take the vaccine, take the mask off. I don't want the vaccine. Then don't go outside. We live in a society where you literally don't have to, niggas will bring your groceries to your house in an hour. Yes. You don't have to go outside. You want the luxury? You can buy anything on Amazon and you, get it the next day. You can build yourself <laughs> you a darn this can get something the same day. How many yeah. people didn't open after hour spots in basements like this? Come after the club close. Come here. I got bottles and this, that, and the other. We got it's business out here. Just you don't have to leave the house. You feel this strongly, don't go. And the world changes around you. Thanks. It's so that that's so fun. And like I said, we'll go to the other thing. But that's so funny to me because it's like you give, like you said, you give people so many different alternatives, then it's just like, okay, you just want to argue. Yeah. Like, at, the, at its core, that's all it is. It's like, how many more different ways? Because I, I think we've, I, we've talked about COVID at least six episodes. And it's just, the more we talk about it, the, the crazier I think it's like, bro, you guys are literally just finding reasons to be difficult. Once again, I empathize and understand the vaccine hesitance because especially if you black especially because of all the stuff that went on in the past i get that i right. I, I felt that but at the same time you want to claim science when it's convenient yeah. but the moment the charts and all of the proofs start coming up oh well these just being yeah, altered they for their narrative 
Bro, like, like, you, <laughs> like, like you want to see the numbers, do the research yourself. Yeah, it got to a point where, like, I think Trump told them to get vaccinated, and they're like, oh, Trump's being s- selling out, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, all right. So it wasn't like, real. <laughs> it wasn't real at first. It wasn't real. Then Jim Jones it. got it. Now yeah. it's real. Then Jim Rogan, the Joe Rogan got it. Oh, you yeah, Joe saying? Rogan. We could, that's a and segue could, right there. We can segue right there. He takes horse dewormer. That's what it was. It's, it's horse, horse dewormer. dewormer. And the CDC had to come out and say, stop doing that. Yeah, stop taking it. You know, do you know? Okay. You know, wait, because before this, you get into this yeah, bag, yeah. the CDC also had to tell niggas stop eating Tide Pods. So just keep that in mind. Okay, okay. Keep that in mind. Okay. So my thing <laughs> is this. delicious ass square. <laughs> <laughs> that's a gusher. That's, that's, a, that's ain't nothing but a gusher. Yeah. It's real good too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fresh scent. Yeah. Pop one. Fresh yeah. one you pop that day. Party started. <laughs> Give me the henny. <laughs> so the whole thing with the, the the craziest thing with Joe Rogan and this dog on horse storm is because he's not the only person to do this. My thing is, you guys went out of your way to look up an alternative to the vaccine that has been medically proven to work whether you believe it or not there there's evidence stating that it can help with with bringing down the numbers in COVID. that's all i can say i can't say it cu- it doesn't cure it it helps bring it down y'all was like mm, nah. no what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on reddit and find some doggone mystical thing yeah horse the worm yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna inject I'm gonna that into that. myself something for a horse guys yeah. I'm going to mix Pepsi and, like, baking soda and maybe some bleach. <laughs> I'm like, this might help COVID. And people go, hell yeah, that works. It's not the vaccine. It might help. It's not the vaccine. I didn't say it will. It's not it FDA might. approved, but it might help. Yeah, because they don't even know if it You works. don't even They're know at this point. It. And the reason the CDC had a step is because the guy like Joe Rogan, who gets, like, a million listeners an episode, if yeah. not more, probably more high key. Yeah. Because he has, like, Spotify, he has, and he has YouTube. And he, he still does comedy and stuff. You're going to start seeing signs where, like, hey, no humans. And you got to show a veterinarian's license to buy a horse <laughs> dewormer. And it's so crazy because I want to say. Where are y'all buying that anyway? I just, yeah, look that up because I'm very curious. Like, where do we even get that? Horse but uh, I think Little last does Rico year. Rico know he's delivering <laughs> the horse dealer. Why is it shaking so much? Like, God, like, do you have it? Do you have Yes. I'm yes. delivering to a lot of ranches now. <laughs> <laughs> not, there's, there's no horses on the, on the lot. What is going on? But because uh, I remember, I want to say, I don't know if this was last year or like early this year, he had bought Bill Burr on his episode and he was saying, Oh, all of these pussies and everything with the vaccine, talking about wearing masks and stuff. And Bill Burr was like, bro, we are two white dudes smoking cigars in front of a USA flag. I'm not about to have this conversation with you. And he was like, oh, well, everybody's just soft and everything. Like, bro, like, let people do what they feel comfortable hey. with. If it's not a fa- hey. Horse the warmer, guys. Yeah, if you're, if, <laughs> I mean, you can buy it off Amazon. So it's if you're thinking, I've done it and delivered it. Yeah, I've been you, out the, the boonies yeah, sometimes. I, a lot of farms and fleets, tractors. Yeah, you can. It's not that hard to come across this stuff. On but Amazon my thing is, what's the man. first thought to you know what? It can cure my horse from worms. It's cu- obviously gonna cure me from COVID. My horse never got COVID. Mm. Yeah. I don't even have it. I'm mad right. because you're right. I don't. You're have, science, I don't have bro. a. I don't even have a comeback to that. But what, go, <laughs> what goes through somebody's head if they put two shots, a red shot and a blue shot, hmm. and they says, "Hey, one of these might work for COVID. Either the horse wormer or." The FDA approved Pfizer shot. Which one are you gonna take? <laughs> I'm going to say. I'm going to that horse. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, no, I mean, come on. At some point, it's natural selection. At some point, no, they it's asking gotta for be. It. They're asking it's gotta for be. It. It's, it's it's like, how many more ways do y'all plan on killing yourself? Like, Next. like, bro. At this point, send the flood because y'all clearly don't. <laughs> no, don't send the flood because I can swim, but not like that. Because <laughs> like y'all, yeah, y'all, in, yeah. y'all clearly don't care. It, it's like you said, it is natural selection though. Because like, if you're willing to shoot you and your kids up with some horse dormer, and then yeah. all of a sudden they find y'all body five days later. Yeah. It's over with. I mean, As is life. It? Like you listen to somebody on social media that don't know nothing about nothing. Mm. That, somebody with a million followers. Just because they said word is bond is word is bond now. But it's a society of followers. Like humans, social media. Humans at their core are followers. Like they're like, which is why it's so funny when people have to self-title themselves an alpha male. It's like that's how I know you're lying. Yeah. Because an, a somebody, alpha male does know. Like yeah. he just take care. of They baby. don't have to say, oh, you know why? You know why this that? Because I'm an alpha. Uh, it, that's cool when you rapping, but if you just saying that in your everyday it, vernacular, yeah. you have an issue. Humanity's biggest curse is that we know we're gonna die. That's why animals in the kingdom. That why that's why their social shit works because they don't know. 
Like, they just, I'm here. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to just do what I got to do. Like, humans are born with that knowledge, like, hey, one day this is over. So yeah. it's like, I'm not going to listen to this nigga because who is he? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Animals are just like, hey, this is our guy right now. Yeah. You're going to grow up in this. Like, this is, like, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Somebody can come kill us. We can get attacked. Like, this is just what today is. <laughs> and this is the nigga that we feel comfortable leading. This, this the, the, the alpha of the pack. The alpha. Yeah. Like, he's the biggest. He's the strongest. And he didn't make, carried us for eight years. Yeah. So we're going to keep following. And when he falls, the next person that does it, we'll follow him. Society's just, no, I can do better than that. I've said it before. Nobody wants to be two forever. Nobody wants to be the second in charge forever. That's true. You know what I'm saying? If you have to prove this, if you get two alpha males fighting, then what does that prove? like oh now here's a third alpha male now i can beat the winning alpha male because he's weak now you done lost three alpha males Facts. because of some petty shit and a bunch of betas you just like I, mean? I don't know what's about yeah, to happen. it's just I'm a bunch just of old women and, and babies like what are we <laughs> supposed to do now it's that hive mind you can't break out of it. it's like we know so we don't want to take that time and follow somebody else when we know what's best for us but I, low key i think that's why hives like for either celebrities or even these cults and stuff. That's why they form. Because people don't want to form. They want somebody to tell me, tell me what to do. Those and then somebody, what to do somebody, have this, somebody has self-decided, you know what? I think just enough to be a leader, quote unquote. Yeah. These people don't think as much as I do. So right. I can lead them because they just like, all right, bro, whatever you say. Yeah, that's right. what cult leaders do. Which is they, why. They don't, they yeah, don't go ahead. to like uh, real like. Like, call leaders usually go for either high schoolers or sometimes, like, universities. Because that's when you're more... Yeah. <laughs> everybody in the army, basically. Yeah, everybody in the army. That's why they're all in high schools telling you, like, yo, look, I mean, must... Look, all the high school girls are around me. You in high school. Because, you know, the the army dude shows up to the high school. All the girls are like, oh, my God. Yeah. You, you, look, how many, and, look how many pull-ups I can do. Yeah, like, look, look what you can do. And then he's showing all the guys, like, you see how many girls I'm getting? Even though he's, like... 25. And, you see my Camaro out there? Yeah, yeah, he's still getting yelled at. <laughs> yeah. He's still panicking when a, a balloon pops yeah, and, and stuff. He, he don't, shot a pistol. They, or they don't know that. Since they, boot camp. Yeah. They, you listen to them. Oh, yeah, man. You ain't nothing. I respect the Army. The I do not. I do, but, but it's like, I think that's another, like you said, it's another form of hot, hive mind. Yeah. It's just, to depending on who you ask, it's just a little bit more honorable. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> that, it's that belief, like with a lot of killers, like how killers can give orders. Who was that? Man? Who was that? The that Manson. Did it? Well, Manson. no, no, I'm not Chip talking Charles about like Manson. like hitmen. Yeah. I would say, uh, like yeah. how the, <laughs> how like the kingpin's right hand, how he would never betray him, yeah. is because he's instilled the leader has instilled such a trust in this person. Yeah. That that's the one person they respect enough to never kill, and their biggest fear is that that person's gonna one day kill them. So they're always. Oh, whatever yeah. like i'm gonna give my life because i love this person more than myself and like i'd be terrified if he ever turns on me because i know in my heart of heart i'll never be able to kill him yeah. so that's what that does like the like and i'm not saying that but the hives like the navy and uh, the barbs and all this they've built this well she's our empress our goddess so whatever anybody got anything is that you got to go through us yeah and that's toxic. Where like, it comes to drop your address, we gonna handle it. No, nah, like it legit. that's what that is. Yeah. Is because we will give our life for Rihanna. The barbs are scary, bro. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody scared than Beehive though. Yeah, Beehive's probably the biggest. And it's the barbs it, are probably the barbs are just I think they some dangerous. Yeah, dude. they the south side. It's, it's, <laughs> they are scary. Like Nikki could be like put on like a sad emoji and they ready to who we fighting, girl? <laughs> yeah, golly. But it, it, it's just it's it's so crazy because it's like and then a lot of that even falls like and it's not as bad but like even with like our parents like. A lot of times they just listen to whatever their parents said. Right. So, like, they didn't get a chance to kind of, like, form their own opinion on stuff or voice their own opinion. So, it was like, oh, well, my daddy did this and I turned out fine. So, yeah. this is obviously the way that it has to go. And, you know, to some points it works, some points it don't. It's like, well, you low-key got some underlying issues you haven't addressed. Yeah. Maybe you should probably get that look. Oh, no, my dad did this, and I turned out fine. Oh, I got a good job, good wife and kids and right. stuff. It's obviously a method to his madness. So, I'm going to just do the exact same thing to y'all. See, that's part of growing up. Is because I was, I'm in the exact same situation, or I was in the same situation, where you're like, oh, man, this is the right way. This is the blueprint. And you'd be like, wait, that nigga was only a human. Yeah. Like, he wasn't that. So, as, as I've gotten you know, older, I, I, it's one of those things I didn't just outright question them. I'm like, they did the best they could with the information they, they had. had. They didn't have nothing 
They, they coming off their parents. So it's like and they're coming off their parents. Yeah, it's like so. I for sure take what they said and like will apply it to my life, but then I still gotta put my own twist on it. Cause you and gotta, my, my son gotta do the same thing. You gotta take it and then refine it. This so is it work, Rico. It works with then you. Then when you have your kid, they're it's, gonna take it and this is such and such. Yeah. You know, it's always gonna be you're always gonna have your father's mannerisms or your mother's this or that, that you're always going to have traces of it, mm -hmm. but you don't want to be a clone. No. Nah. Yeah. You see what that, that's where you don't want to be that. No. Nah. They're like, Oh, you like, you remind me of your father. That's great. But you don't want to be you, like, damn, he's his damn dad. <laughs> you don't want to be that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that it's you so know? funny. Cause like, uh, like, Whenever I have like my my stubborn moments with whatever's going on, my mom would be like, "Yeah, you just like your dad." And I have to look. I'm like, "Dang, all right." Yeah, dad, he's a real ass nigga. Now, do I don't mean to get right. too personal, yeah, but yeah, I know yeah. you were raised by your stepfather. Do you yeah. pick up a lot of his habits, like just through yeah. watching? Yeah. yeah. Even though, um, I guess sometimes it could be like genetic. Because my sisters are more like him, mm -hmm. like, in their mannerisms. Like, my sisters are stubborn, and, like, like that's how my dad is, too. Yeah. He's, like, and I'm more, I'm more like my mom. Uh-huh. And we're, like, I'll think it through, or I'll just be calm. Like, I'm not trying to just, I'm not on go. Yeah. All the time. All the time you know? It's all, what you say? Man, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> Kanye who? <Hoot>? No. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like, me and my mom, we're cool with being the quiet ones. And, like, at the family party, my mom's. Like, even though it's family, she's still, like, the quiet one. She'll, like, people got to get her to start talking. Yeah. Or, like, if she, she won't go over there, if they're not, like, like, if someone in the family doesn't say what's up with her, my mom's not even going to go yeah. over there. I'm know? not going out of my way to yeah. go say hi to you right. either. Type yeah, that's stuff. how I am. You know, you've seen me, yeah. like, at work. I am not. I don't say hi to anybody until so someone says hi to me. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. And Which is why I was so surprised when you even just agreed to do the podcast. Yeah, I was just like, I'm just going to just throw it out there. Let's see what he say. <laughs> I was so, like, man, Raul, I was like, I ain't seen him forever. He was like, yeah. Oh man, but yeah, like we were saying, um, cause I want to low key, I want to hold on, I want to order my thoughts correctly. Mm -hmm. So with the with the Boosie thing, and then even cause I listened to, I told you, I listened to Jail Part Two, mm -hmm. and I listened to the Baby's verse just to see what he would say. I just wanted to hear what he was rapping about, and in my opinion, he did a lot of deflecting and a lot of whining, like oh woe is me, woe is me. Because my thing is this, you know what you can and can't say. I don't care how old you are. I don't yeah. care. At this day and age, he's not even 30 yet. So he's been growing up and watching the same stuff we have. We know I can't get on here F word this and I don't, I hate lesbians. I can't do that. I yeah. cannot do that because it's going to. You can't say you are a lesbian. If, if, yeah. If you're a Canadian and light skin, you can get away with that. <laughs> but uh, you, like, I know what I can't say. Who yeah. cares how you feel inside? You can't go out and say it. So him to say, oh, y'all see y'all y'all taking food out of my baby's mouth. No, you're taking food out of your baby's mouth and having yeah. to deal with the consequences. Yeah. And then in the song, he wants to say, oh, I wasn't even really raised with my mom. I was raised with my uncles and everything. They was crackheads yeah, and all that. Crackheads Don't know. No, no. <laughs> oh. You're almost 30 now. I'm you have to make your own thoughts. Let me tell you about this guy, 50 Cent, <laughs> uh, oh, who was raped him. by himself and shot nine times. Like, and I don't think he's ever been canceled by Elton John. No. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and he grew up in the, in the 80s and 90s, yeah. which was a different time. You can let them words fly. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's I, the same thing. I mean, Elton John's M's man. So yeah. Like, M's like, 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 nah, we gonna kill. Like, legit, they homies. <laughs> yeah. They be hitting yeah. Like, when, uh, when Eminem was uh, dealing with his drug issue, he hit up uh, Elton like, you got through this. How did you do this? Yeah. Elton sat there and talked him through it. And it's like, so with, with the baby and with Boosie, it's like, I, look, the Boosie is an older Southern man. I get that. And I, I, I don't respect, but I understand. But my thing is, it's not 06 anymore. It's not. You've been away for a while, okay? But you can't sit here at yeah. multiple, how many more times you got to get knocked off of Instagram? Yeah. How many more times you got to get whatever you, you tweet taken off of Twitter? When you realize, yeah. I can't say this anymore. Like you can't, you can't, like they say, you can't throw stones and then hide your hands or yeah. anything like that. Because then, like, if you, you like, the whole, whole sin thing, mm -hmm. like, Boosie, he admitted that he got his, his, uh, his son's virginity yeah, uh, when he was 13 or, yeah. or however old he was. Yeah, by a prostitute. By, by a prostitute. Which is wild. Which is wild. And, and but, like, that's cool. And I like for him, mm -hmm. he's like, oh no, oh, that's, cool. that's that, yeah, that's that's regular old. Like my daddy did it with me, uh, my dad's dad did it with him, whatever. And but it's like, 
nah, bro. Like, it's so it's many ethi- so many ethical problems with that. Yeah. And little Nas being gay ain't got yeah. nothing to do with what you got going. Yeah. You ain't put out no music. You ain't did nothing productive. All you do is turn the camera on and figure out something else to be mad about. Yeah. Cause like when uh. Because apparently, I guess they want to turn one of the Robins in DC Comics bisexual or something. Yeah, he's bisexual. And Boosie was like, you see what I'm talking about? It's like, what were you even doing to find this tweet, Boosie? And that's what I was just about to say. Because they are pushing this agenda. And like I say, I don't have any beef with nobody. I just feel like if you're going to start pushing it, it should be high school. Like, five and six-year-olds don't know their favorite color yet. Like, I don't think they know their sexuality. That's just me. Not getting into that, but I respect, it, no, I respect but no, it's just like For sure. I got, I got, on, I got all the socials, and I be on them, mm-hmm. and it's there. It, you find your fair share of community and gay stuff on there, yeah. But this hardcore like stuff, like I didn't see nothing from Little Nas X because I don't follow anybody that's really like yeah. posting it, and that's not against nothing against the community. Yeah. It's just my friends don't do that. Yeah, the celebrity, you know, Snoop's not. Reposting that. If it weren't like for that. The, the, that follow the shade room, I wouldn't know. Any. You see what it's I'm saying? It's one of those things. But look at that, what that people who is. I follow follow Nas. So they, they retweet his stuff all the time. So I'm like, oh, now it's on but my see, timeline. But you see, yeah. but that's the thing is like, I'm not actively going searching for little Nas. Nope. You when weren't. it's under trending, what's he talking about? Oh, it's some doesn't affect me. Yeah. Let me get up out of there. <laughs> I'm not retweeting, not reading. It don't affect me. I don't have an opinion on this. You know how easy that is. In you life? know how easy. I don't see nothing. I be scrolling like, 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 like. I like my Twitter because it's what I like on my Twitter. Yes. It ain't. Oh, what is? It ain't a bunch of KKK maga stuff. <laughs> it ain't that because I don't follow them people. Which makes you wonder, like, what is Boosie's yeah. Twitter feed like? Yeah. Like you're bullying this kid. Like, like right now, yeah. Because like uh, Nas X tweeted uh, yesterday. He said, uh, "Stop using your kids as shields. Hate gay people with your chest." Which is. He's not wrong. Because that's My like thing the go-to. You, at yeah. the end of the day, you do have to make a choice. Because everybody's go-to is, especially when they're like super anti, oh, you're pushing on the kids. However you want to feel about that is how you want to feel about that. But at the same time, if you don't agree with homosexuality, whatever, just say that. Don't try, oh, well, the children. No, be yeah. honest. You don't agree with it. Which is, hey, if you don't, that's between you and, I guess, you. It shouldn't be nobody he, else involved. Because he's fighting it so hard. Like, are your kids gay? No. Are you gay? No. Let him live. Yeah. It's that simple. It's not your vicinity. It's not your lane at all. He's not affecting your music, your money, nothing. And all he's doing is affecting yeah. his own money. That's he's all he, about he's affecting his own personal yeah. image. Yeah. All, all he's doing really do that. Is... He's a whole, like, meme now. Because you see what I'm saying? Anytime, like, Nas even thinks to tweet, somebody, oh, I wonder what Boosie about to say yeah. about this. And he's all, he's right there on it. He's all he has to, to do relevant. is either one, hit the block button. I think on Twitter you could, like, exile out words. Yeah. You can say little Nas X. You, you can ban little Nas X. He could literally you know. probably put little Nas X and then the word gay, and then he'll never have to see anything. Yeah. Ever. Again. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Unless <laughs> people are fine. DMing him, you know, and yeah. then it's like, okay, whatever. But you act, you have to actively be searching, because I didn't know half of this stuff until he did. Yeah. No, nah, because it went, went viral because of him. Yeah. And then, you know, the shade room going to yeah. find the reason. Sh- well, the shade room is the shade room. Yeah. Yeah. You see it in the title. It's messy. Wipe me down and set it off can only carry you for so long. <laughs> no, <laughs> you better watch it. Because I had went to school with a homeboy, shout out John, from Mississippi. Uh-huh. And Boosie is like Pac, Biggie, Nas, and Lil Wayne <laughs> rolled up into one down there. In Mississippi? In, in down south. Oh, down like, south. He yeah. is... He is that dude down south. He's Kanye down south. <laughs> he's Drake. He's whoever you think Drake and Kanye are. That he's that down south. Damn. That's who Boosie is. So you need to chill. Damn, I, I can't go to the south anymore. I can't go to the south <laughs> I'm, I'm anymore. dead ass. Like Boosie. Like I don't know why, but he was like, yeah, yeah. man, down there. No, nah, like, was hot. Like, 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 man, Atlanta was treating him like Jesus was, resurrected when he yeah. came back from jail. So. Him and Gucci. Yeah. yeah. Him and Gucci, man. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. That's down south. <laughs> It's big in pocket. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is, man, just just you, you gotta be smart with your post on social media. And speaking of posting on social media, Miss Shakari Richardson, Shakari Richardson, yeah. and they who, called me a madman. Mm. <laughs> oh, so real quick, she just recently, I think she had a race two or three days ago. She came in fourth, Boy. and but who is she going against? The two top runners in the world didn't race that that meet. Yeah. So it's like, okay, you came in, like, you came in, not. Oh, I guess. Rainers. So, so some some runner. Her yeah. competition. Her competition. She yeah, came okay. in. She so didn't. Should, ma- was, go ahead. So you should have been six. So somebody said. Six. Somebody did the math. Yeah. They was like, well, Shakari came in fourth, but the two top runners in the world didn't run, so she really came in six, which is basically ninth. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> uh, if you ain't first, you last. Yeah. So it's one of those things. 
so you know she was struggling with her racing and whatnot. So when she first lost, when she went ninth, we actually we didn't meet that day, but like we we talked about it. But then they asked Allison Felix on Jimmy Fallon because you know she just coming off Tokyo here. But oh, we love you, Allison. Like, shout out to you. So they was like, hey, what do you think about everything going on with Shakira? And she was like, oh, she's gonna be fine. You know, you struggle, you had your issues and whatnot. But I'm rooting for. Her. Shakiri go on Twitter uh, on uh, Instagram talking about I hate Jamaicans. Not even <laughs> or not no. Bumba clap these nuts. Nigga. <laughs> she go on, she she went on Instagram story talking about people going on late night shows showing fake love. And then people like, I know you not yeah. bad mouth and Miss Allison Felix. After all the stuff she went through, you talking about Miss had a baby, had Nike try to drop about 40% so she had to leave, start her own brand for black women. Yeah. That Allison Felix? Well, that's what you're not about to do. And instantly, people was like, you know what? Got to take my support back. Cause yeah. This ain't working, Miss Man. Because it turns out that you are trash. Oh, man. <laughs> Gave her the Beats commercial. Now, Gave her the Kanye exclusive. The Drake bar. I'm so upset. Oh, because Lord, I'm Lord. not, like I said, I'm not upset at you. I'm upset because when you brought it up, I low-key was like. No, nah, people don't think about you like that. They don't think like you're sick mind. That's and, not not, not, and you should be, oh, man, you should be in an asylum. What? That's a crazy. That's a black queen. No, what I was. Track star bad. You, no, we ain't forget. Uh, yeah. no, I, I said, I said call her her name. Her. I said call her by her name. That's what I said. <laughs> but the biggest thing was, I was like, no, nah, I don't think she's going to do that because my thing, I'm thinking. And I gotta stop thinking like this. I'm thinking she got a camp behind her that's like, hey, we're gonna, we you know we messed up. We are gonna focus on yeah. building, a, uh, uh, like basically building a regime back. Then when Paris hit, we full steam that's, ahead. That's the problem. Like you can't have a supportive camp, but they're not with you 24 seven. You could be in your room, yeah. You scrolling on your phone, you and you could put out a whole yeah. press conference. She liked something that was like anti-Jamaican. Every time they were like doing like some stupid stereotype. Yeah, it said uh, like. Like something like Jamaicans are like talking bad or something, but y'all gotta walk don't even to your have water shoes. Or something. Yeah, yeah, you don't have even shoes to walk to your water. Or something it, like that. It was like what? Like man, we see you. you. You due to your actions, you now have a magnifying glass yeah. on you, and people are either one ready watching you, you that or two ready to be like, you see, I told you she was gonna be good, and all you're doing is giving them evidence as to why people was talking trash about you before. Why do that it's to yourself? The thing, I think too much fame came at her too fast. Yeah. So she's still moving. Because I remember I, I sent you guys that screenshot like from two years ago or a year ago where she said something about the LGBTQ community. And like that, that blew up. And they're like, oh, this is who you want me to support? Mm -hmm. And I shared that. And obviously we're like, you know, people could grow and yeah. stuff. But maybe she's still the same. And But now fame... Like, like you said, the magnifying glass. Smacking her upside the head. She was who you was, she, so you got him. Yeah. She, she, maybe she could have <laughs> liked that six months ago, and no one would have said anything. No one would have cared. Yeah. But now that everybody's shouting you out, you get, you got that mad love. You got all the. You got a whole, you got a whole Drake bar. Her, her <laughs> I'm pretty sure her followers went up at least a milli, something like that. Now anything, little you thing do. you do, people are looking to tear you down. At any and second. and I'm always, you know, I, one of the things is I'm not. Definitely not hoping for her downfall, but I hope she kind of wakes up. One thing she got to realize, and that I, it didn't click, because my, mind you, I'm thinking, okay, she going to take off in the Olympics, not knowing that, like, whatever was about to happen, happened. But up until this point, you haven't accomplished anything. Yeah. You were, the thing. you was a killer your freshman year. You was like, you know what, I'm going to go pro. We was like, go for it. You're going to have to train all of that. But all she's done is win a preliminary round up to this point. Yeah. Then Nike sponsor. Nike not going to keep wasting their money on you. Mm -mm. If all you're going to keep doing is, is basically shooting yourself yeah. in the foot. Yeah. You and having a cop. And I, I hate to. It's the black athlete syndrome. They just didn't expect it from a woman. Because they saw Naomi Osaka. And they saw Serena. And they seen all the female WNBA players stand up. Like, hey, look, this is a thug. And that's what they look at. Like, hey, she's. From there, she ran. She hasn't done nothing to make her stand out. It's like, oh, she's yeah. an Ivy League scholar. She's to the, she's a thug to them. She, she doesn't have the credibility where she, where she could say something wild and people like, like you know, we'll let, we'll let yeah. it slide. And like it, Simone Biles yeah. does that. Or like even like with Drake and Kanye. Drake and Kanye could do something, say something crazy, like the whole Trump thing. Or Drake could like say some wild set or like with the whole Millie Bobby Brown, you know, like, well, just sweep it around under mm -hmm. the rug. Because or, of like, their resume, pay, yeah. Because you got the resume. One drops six you give him the benefit of the doubt. Six classics, and another one's number one in everything that he touches. So you get, yeah, you give him the benefit of the doubt. She doesn't have that resume. Besides she won that. one she race. She did nothing yet. She won one race, then got taken out of the Olympics yeah. for weed. Simone, then could, you opened your mouth, shot yourself in the foot. Yeah, 
Then you showed up ninth, and then you went fourth. Then you and, didn't win another race. Then you did fourth in the heat that the two top runners in the world weren't in. See, if you'd have smoked everybody in that race, you could have. Oh man, you see, you know, they just yeah. hating on. But you just just showed that yeah. you're not yeah. that nigga. And it's tough it's, because like I'm usually a fan. I'm actually a fan of trash talkers and 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 and, and, yeah. and big ego players, especially when they can back it up. You ain't been able to back it up yet. You you won the preliminary round, got cocky, and then got caught. Yeah, it's like. I'm cool with the cocky part, but you can't therefore go get caught. I would rather her be cocky than lose in the Olympics. Cause it's like, okay, yeah. you losing against the top of the top. But it's I like can how accept you, that. But it's how you lose too. Well, not ninth, yeah. But like, cause it's like you can one, two, three, four. And be like, oh, she's the top five fastest people in America. You come in ninth. <laughs> It's like, all right, all right. She's top ten. That don't matter. Cause yeah. only eight it's niggas only, that run. You, you, you top. Or you nine. top five out of eight. You're yeah. like, okay, she's, but this is what fastest women in the world. So that's top, that's a lot. Yeah. You come in ninth, you be like, man, I know a little shorty on my block can probably smoke her. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you make that run, you be like 33 seconds. All right. All right. Yeah. Like, that's all right. Somebody, I know somebody can probably Which is, that. yeah, which is, it, 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 it's I so. I saw a football player weigh 100 more pounds than you were running fast. <laughs> Bo Jackson ran a 4 2. Or 4 1, whatever it was. Some. Crazy. Something ridiculous that was probably illegal. Should have <laughs> never been done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's just one of those things where it's like you you hate to see uh young black athletes, young black celebrities like take a fall like that, but it's like at the same time you and it's like you can't keep in my in my opinion, I gotta stop doing this. You can't keep, oh, where is their support system? Where is their team? At the end of the day, they're still, like you said, gonna be in their room, in their car, with nobody with yeah. them. You know what? I want to be messy today. Yeah, everyone's going to do... Like, I, I put it in the tweet talking about the yay thing. Not, not keep going back, but mm -hmm. I put yay got Pusha T, Consequence, GLC, and Rhymefest in his corner and Chance the Rapper. None of them have a bigger ego than Kanye. No, none of them, I feel like, have the... To tell them, like, yo, put this out or don't put this out. Yeah. Get this like, out. I don't have to listen. I don't, I don't think... I don't remember... I, I, there's well, a, there's he a whole, owns his own label. He's yeah. probably never heard no since he was with Jay. There's a whole video of Ye cussing out Chance and telling him either leave or sit down and shut up. And Chance the Rapper sat, sat down, down and, and shut, shut up. up. And he acted like, like shit was sweet. So, you know, it's like... It's that same thing. Uh, if you don't have someone in your corner, you, you can... You know, fuck up at any second. Yeah. Because that race he won, was that like a professional, like Olympic trial race? Oh. Uh, Shikari. To get to the Olympics. That, that, was, like, that it was, was It was a preliminary thing. I think she broke a record while she was, it was like crazy. Like she went nuts, like for sure. Because that's my thing. Like who knows if she even had a support system? No, she, she did. Her team, like her people was there. Uh, but I mean like a really like somebody that's like, okay. We somebody know, that's not related. Like a media, somebody that's like, hey, this is how you got to maneuver. Not a bunch I of I think support. Nike would have given her one because that's their athlete and she's like the latest face. So you would think because Who's I'm pretty sure oh, like a PR I'm, team. I'm pretty sure like when Nike sponsors or if somebody sponsors you, if they got yeah. the money for it, they're gonna give you a PR team. Yeah, now whether you decide to listen because what ends up happening is this, especially sad to say, with a lot of young black athletes, musicians, actors, whatever, they homies is also with them. Yeah. That's what and, and that's so what I'm saying. Like, homies it gets to a point team. where it's like they you got some white lawyer telling you you probably shouldn't do this. And you got Day Day, like, bro, F what he talking about, go do it. Yeah. And so it's like, who are you going to, you, like, who are you listening yeah. to? Because you thinking in your mind, oh, well, he, Day Day ain't like, never, oh, he ain't never sent me wrong yet. Right. That's funny you went down that, cause out today I was, I was watching the Pat McAfee show. Uh -huh. uh, he, he was, he's an old, uh, he was a football punter. Yeah. And a kicker. And he, he was, uh, it was, a, he has a little podcast and he was talking about, uh, the Indianapolis Colts, you can look it up. They have the worst play in football history is where they're going to kick. And it's just the, the old lineman and the punter and then the rest of the squads on the side. You guys can look it up. It's like the craziest uh -huh. thing. But he got killed for that play because they blamed him, even though the coach is the one who calls the calls. Mm -hmm. So he went um, – he was going to tweet something because he was really popular on Twitter. You know, he's still popular with his podcast yeah. even though he's just a I've seen I've seen some clips. His podcast is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. and he's like um, – so he has a huge following, and he said he was going to tweet one of the analysts that was criticizing him and killing him. He said he was going to tweet RIP and then the analyst's name just, like, for funsies. Mm -hmm. And, like, because obviously everything he was tweeting was going viral with the hashtags and stuff. Yeah. And he, he was just going to do it. So, like, to mess with him and mess with his family and all that. And the PR dude told him, like, you can't do this. Like, like what the hell are you thinking about? Right. You're going to kill a man. And one of his family sees it, they're not with him. You know, he's dead. Yeah. And he's like, I don't care. I'm going to still do it. And the, the PR dude's like, 
you're you're a football player, you're the best kicker in the league. Yeah. They're not gonna fire you, they're gonna fire me. So he was like that's when he said he second thought it and he was like, Alright, I'm not gonna put it off out of respect for you. That's one of the things. But like you said, people got their homies around him. Yeah. Cause the whole um the reason the PR dude found out was because I'm about to say like how did that even get it? Because he told his teammates. Uh, and all his teammates were like, Yeah, fucking do it, because they're killing us on on the, every analyst, every TV show is killing the whole team. Yeah. Yeah, do it. They, they were hyping him up. Yeah, yeah. And the PR dude was the dude who was like, yo. No. Like, you. <laughs> yeah, it, it's that person that you're not supposed to cry on the phone. The one that takes your phone yeah. away after a, tr- a tremendous loss. Yeah. You got your ass whooped in this fight. Give me the phone. Like, don't get on here because it's yeah. emotion. It's emotion. You're, oh, oh, I hate all the Jamaicans. <laughs> you go ahead and take that. And now look at you. Now you I, did, I don't hate nobody. It was just in the fear. But you knew yeah. what was right to say. And yeah. Now you got you academics know. talking shit every second because he's Jamaican. You see what I'm he saying? He has a big following. You see what like, I'm saying? Like you tweeted like, it. You was yeah. like, oh, that's a red school. You got to edit that you word. You typed it out. <laughs> you know, in the heat of passion, tears running down your face. You didn't backspace and fixed it and correct. Like, you've had enough time to cool off if you can send that message out. You see what I'm saying? No, 100%. You see, like, that's a premeditated, you wanted that to happen. You wanted all the, you wanted all the smoke in that situation. That's why I hate when folks say, oh, well, I made a mistake. You know, you just made a dumb decision. You made like, a dumb decision. Stop calling stuff a mistake. Yeah. Like, hitting the car is a mistake. You tweeting a, a racist, homophobic, whatever tweet, that's a decision you made yeah. without thinking about the potential consequences. That's not a mistake. Yeah. Another way I used to think about in high school is like, the two steps. Mm-hmm. It, would just, it would be like, you don't need to, if you're robbing a bank too many steps, you're going to get caught. Mm-hmm. So the set, get in and get out. That's what oh, you just got to follow. Yeah. So the if you're more just here steps for the money, you add, don't go back for the football. <laughs> you see, the more steps you add, the more difficult it is to control it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's, damn, I lost my thought just that quick. That, no, no, I, I could pay, that literally happened because I were retail right now, still currently. Yeah, yeah. A lady uh, stole and uh, she left. She got away with it. They were like, damn, we remember her face, but, you know, we don't know. We didn't even see what car she got in, so we can't even find where she stayed. Yeah. Two days later, she, she saw it was easy to steal some shoes. She came back, and she was – we already – someone saw her. The person who helped her that the day she stole was there recognized her. Wow. And he was like, over the walk, that's who stole the other day. They confirmed it on the camera because, you know, they do the little screenshot picture, and they added it. They're like, yeah, that's her. So everybody, all eyes on you. She was, she was like, oh, you need to steal some shoes. She was, she was getting happy. She was <laughs> stuffing that purse. It, that thing was finna blow. Uh-huh. And they had the cops waiting outside at the door, <laughs> like they said. <laughs> I was and, waiting for you at the door. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, they were, and she got, she thought it was easy the first time, like he said. Don't just go in and go out. If he, you're That's going it. to steal some jerseys and you see a bunch of duffel bags on the way out, just get the jersey. You're already yeah. out. Now you're going to double back. You know now know. the cops there. Yeah. It's that type of thing. That's it. If you, that that's it. Like if you write out a letter, put it in an envelope. Look at all the steps it takes to do this. There's nothing but trouble coming in there. If you write out a death threat to just say a TV analyst, just say Charles Barkley, write out a death threat. I'm gonna kill you. I have to write that out. Put that in the mail. Stamp it. Put it in the mailbox. All them damn steps. You don't expect you to get caught up. Mm. You see what I'm saying? If you're tweeting, you got 140. The the moment you make a mistake in what word am I thinking? That's your moment of clarity. So if you go back into sending this I hate Jamaicans tweet, you've had plenty of time. Yeah. If you go and look for the Jamaican flag emoji, you meant every single word of that. <laughs> I hate you know, emoji. good well, it's not in your recent emojis. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like you how knew what that's Jamaican coming. Wrong. <laughs> the whole time. You see what I'm saying? All the moments are clear. That's how the crime of passion stuff. Yeah. If you walk in on your wife cheating uh-huh. and you oh, and shoot him, that's a crime of passion. It just happened in the heat of the moment. Yeah. But if you walk in on him, go outside. Smoke, then come back in and kill him. That's a premeditated murder. That is. Because you had enough time to walk out, get your head straight. And leave. If you and want. leave. But you came back. That's crazy. See, that, that's how that works. It's word. so wild that you, that you use. I love that analogy because it's like when you just think about all the people who have gotten caught up doing stuff, especially in this new day. I'm not even talking about tweets that have been brought up from like 2014 when stuff was a little bit looser. I'm talking about stuff from... Let's say 2017 on, when yeah. it was like, you can't do this. Yeah. And so then people, oh, well, you know, I just want to apologize for what I did. No, stop, stop. Yeah. You're currently 35. You was 31 when you tweeted that, which means that you, like you said, you knew X, Y, and Z was going on. You used perfect grammar, which means you had to go look for the period, the comma. You probably had, like you said, a red squiggly pop up. Yeah. Got to edit this word because it's not going to fit. 
and you still decided yeah. that this needed to be posted. And I'm not sure how Twitter, because I usually, I use, I'm on Twitter like all the time, but I mainly use to like and retweet. I don't make my own tweets really like that. Yeah, yeah. But on Facebook, if you, you post something with like a derogatory term or slur, yeah. or like even too many cusses, when you hit send, a message will pop up. It'd be like this, some of these words or maybe offensive. this message are yeah. offensive. Are you sure you want to post? Yeah. Because it could get taken down or your page could get taken down, whatever. And then if you still hit OK, I don't want you two weeks later like, oh, fuck Facebook. I was on Facebook jail for like three weeks or yeah. whatever. Like, what did you and say? It's like, it literally <laughs> told you don't post this. Yeah. You still posted it. I don't know if that Twitter does that. Nah, I don't think Twi- so. Because nah, I, Twitter see, just whatever I you see a lot about, of shenanigans bro. out there. Whatever. Basically, Twitter is like Twitter will, will put like the Twitter. The, the Twitterverse is going to punish you itself. Yeah. We don't have to do nothing extra. Yeah. <laughs> we we, we going to let the people take over. That's it's true. somebody that only got 12 followers. Yeah. They got 25 million retweets all because they said the one wrong word. Yeah. Ain't got I, ain't got no following at all. Corday liked one of my tweets. Just mm. as ra- just that random. What did you say? I had I, when his album came out. Oh, it, I was like, yo, because I was working at Amazon. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo, man, this album slapped. It was a compliment. I, I think I still got the screenshot. Uh-huh. And then I'm at the end of the shift. I look Corday like it. I'm oh, one of the little fan page. Got the check and everything. <laughs> I was like, me of all people. Yeah. One tweet. That's the only celebrity that ever liked my shit. The pod. That one. If that would have been negative and blew up, that's my viral moment. Yeah. yeah. It's all about clout, and it's dangerous. It really is. It's really dangerous. Because even celebrities have said that they search their names. So, like, they know when somebody is saying something out the way to them. Yeah. So, like, you'll you'll see somebody, you'll see, like, a white conservative or something say something low-key, maybe racist, to a black artist. But they'll just they'll say his or her name without adding them. And then the, the rapper will be like, pussy at me. If you got, and he was like, how did you find it? Because I searched my name. Yeah. Celebrities have admitted, man, I'll be bored. I search my name and see what people are saying. And if you find something derogatory, now I got something to say to you. Yeah. It's a crazy thing. Like, I follow Joy Taylor, mm-hmm. and, like, the main comment, like, that people put, because she's always responding to, like, people talk shit to her. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, why don't you just respond to the nice people? And then she's like, well, I know you guys, like, show me love, so I'm, I'm trying to put all these people in their place. <laughs> it's like, at that point, it's like you're choosing to feed yeah. into the... It was, yeah, uh, I don't mean negatives. To cut nobody off. It's this show I'd be watching, Community with Don, uh, yeah, Donald, Donald Glover. Glover. Yeah. But there was an episode where they were leaking each other's emails and like little group <laughs> chats and stuff. And this show is funny as hell because they be like really I, getting into I'm it. I'm gonna definitely go watch it. But the one guy, he's got like Asperger's and he's reading it and he's like, Where are you guys reading all this negative stuff at? And they're like, Oh, what do you don't see it? And he's like, Well, I'm not looking for it. So it's like, You only yeah. look at what you. He was yeah. like, I'm looking yeah. for Rico to be talking shit about me, but I'm not seeing him. That's, he did a great job yeah. on his pod. He did this, that. Oh, where is he talking about me at? You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's Tyler the Creator tweet where he says cyberbullying isn't real. Just block out the, everybody else. Yeah. Because look at now the marketing Shakari can do. Mm-hmm. Now she's the bad girl of track. She's got a, a Kanye commercial with his uh, his song off this album, and she's got a Drake bar. Now she can hop on IG Live and just hey, play that and song. And whenever that bar is playing, hey Drake. Happen to be in that club in that bar. Come on. Uh-huh. Oh man, this girl's got another three years of fame. You see what I'm saying? Her most important thing at this point, though, it's is all that, money moves. I mean, she, I, she couldn't. I, I don't know if she's done, but if she can't do it in racing, then she's got a social media following now. Yeah. Nobody ever gave me a chance because of that weed. I'm trying to make a comeback. Blah 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 blah. blah but see, blah, she, I don't. I don't even think she. Trust be able to, me. I, I don't know. What I'm saying I don't think it's gonna work simply because we've seen evidence of you not be able to to keep up. You weed free, we didn't let you off the hook. You come in ninth, then you come in fourth in a race without the two top runners in the in the in the world. Right. So it's like, but how many times have we seen this? I'm gonna clean up my act. I'm running seven thousand miles a day. My system's clean. Taking a drug test. Oh, give me one more shot. That Josh We've seen Gordon it before. stuff. We've seen it before. Okay. We've seen it before. My thing is, Josh, I don't know what, and I, and we can we can uh, get back on top. But like with somebody like Josh Gordon, it's like, bro, how many more? Reinstatements do you need? Right. He's he's literally kicked out the league every other year. And it's yeah. like, respectfully, you have an addiction. Yeah. You need to get that looked at because it's like, how many more chances can I give you? But like, like what the thing with Shakari, with Shakiri, I think, like, especially because of the Olympics are only ever four they're every four years, but they obviously they have these races in between. That's still money. Yeah. It's not the Olympics, but it's money. And she's yeah. a name. She's gonna draw a crowd. Cause now you have the haters. I'm gonna watch her get destroyed this race. But, and if yeah. she comes out and wins, oh look at my girl! I knew she had it. They some hate you. Oh, the Drake and Kanye album. You're looking for her to fail. Yeah. You have 50 percent of people looking for her to fail. The rest want her to succeed. Wow, that's true. That's, that's all right. it is. One more thing before we get out of here. I want to speak on uh, Zendaya. 
Happy, happy birthday, Zoo. Happy birthday, happy birthday. birthday. She Rico, the man, passion look. No, no, no. Rico's he, about to blow up. Damn, Zoo got this shit in here, man. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me a second, man. I saw him hesitate. No, nah, yeah, you did because I was looking for the thing. And why, and why you looking? I want to give a shout out to Rico today. Been popping off at the mouth, sounding all aggressive. Oh. Nigga sent the text message, sound like DMX. Yeah. I got scared. I was, yo. Uh, you see him on his pod. He cussing and doing all this. I'm not this. cussing. Hold Explicit. on. Mama, I'm not cussing. Yeah, is this yeah. the chronic, too? Is this uh, detox? No, nah, okay. So what they talking about? Basically, I'm just give uh, with the thing with the whole Lecrae thing. It was a, it was a white conservative Christian was like I've seen Kanye tweet more about uh, talk more about Jesus than Lecrae has. For those who don't know, Lecrae is a Christian rap. Well, he's a rapper who's a Christian who speaks about Christ and his raps. Been doing it since old lessons. Eight. Yeah, like right, for, for forever. He's been doing it forever. And I retweeted. It. I'm like the only the, the main reason why white Christians are upset at Lecrae and other. Christian rappers or, or rappers who claim to be Christian is because they're starting to call out the BS in religion. They're starting to call out the racism, the, the homophobia as to why people aren't deciding to go to the church. There's a lot of reasons that people like that, that churches don't be wanting to look in the mirror and be like, well, y'all got X, Y, and Z going on. So it may be turning some people away. Oh, no. Well, see, you're just in for the money and all this secular stuff. And, and all of a sudden, since you got that brand new car, you ch- and it's, I'm sitting there like, people hate to just call a spade a spade. You don't like that he has money now. Yeah. You don't like that he's collabing and trying to work with people who you deem are just going to automatically go to hell. Right. And Facts. I wish people would just up and say it. But everybody got to come. Oh, well, you see Kanye talking more about God than Lecrae. With it's, all it, due respect to Kanye, he in none of his catalog will ever talk more about God than Lecrae had for his entire Facts. career. I'm sorry. Like, we gotta it's gatekeeping. Stop. It's gatekeeping, it's, bro. It's gatekeeping. We was just talking about that. Because it's like, bro, who are you to corner the market on another person's work? Or their belief system. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't have to talk about that 24-7. <laughs> I, built a, I built a career on it. I don't have to. Okay, he want me for a feature where I don't want to talk about it. So what? Oh, you sold out. They did the same thing with Tupac. When he was, oh, Brenda's got a baby, and I ain't mad. Not I ain't mad at you, but uh, keep your head up. And they was, oh, Brock is the truth, and then you can do I get around. Yeah. Oh, he ain't nothing but a thug like <laughs> them. And, oh, what do you mean you get around? You have intercourse with women? What about Brenda? <laughs> That's, you had that crowd. Yeah. So it was like, oh. But, uh, yeah, uh, what I want to, uh, I was actually a funny, like, <laughs> miscellaneous thing. But what I want to bring up before we get out of here, um, I don't know if you guys read the article, but. Angelina Jolie did oh, yeah. a interview yeah. where she was talking about her ex, Brad Pitt, and how when he did the movie Aviator that was run by Harvey Weinstein, she felt hurt by it. Because for those who don't, most people know the story about Harvey Weinstein, but what a lot of people don't know is that one of the first people to speak out about it, or one of the first super famous people, was Gwyneth Paltrow back in, I want to say, 98. And back in 98, her and Brad Pitt were dating. Yeah. And so reportedly, I don't know how true it is, but she said... That uh that Harvey Weinstein was making sexual advances at her, and apparently Brad Pitt like was like, "Hey, you, you come at it. her again, we gonna have to square up, basically." Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he starts doing little movies with him. All of a sudden, he starts seeking them out to help produce his movies. And then Angelina Jolie, when they was married, was like, he was making advances at me too. And basically, Brad Pitt just kind of just was like, "Oh, Brushed whatever," it brushed it off. And then not only that, he did he did more movies with him, but now all of a sudden, now that it's obvious that he's a piece of crap, now Brad Pitt wants to produce the movie talking about all the women that had to survive his his horrors. And people are looking like, hmm. where was this energy when two people you were dating came out, one you even yeah. married, came out and said, this guy's a piece of trash. Yeah. Y'all need to stop associating yourself with him. And then um, people are saying, like, Brad Pitt, low-key, not that good of a dude yeah. when you think about it. And it looks funny because, like, Okay, like like if he's your man and you're gonna produce it, he might take it more easy. He might edit out some of the stuff that makes he's it. He's not gonna make so it a monster. He, he, yeah, he won't make it into a monster. It's all like, a misunderstanding. Like the, yeah, like the R. Kelly one, he uh-huh. might he might play with it a little bit where it's like up in the air type of thing. I don't know how you can kind of not make him seem like a monster. Oh yeah, exactly. like, but it, but it's just, it's just the simple fact that when you you hear about stuff like that and it's like you would think that your husband or your wife is gonna yeah. have your back a hundred percent, whether the I would rather be proven wrong down the line. As of right now, me and old boy, if I can't put my hands on him, we got to disassociate completely. Yeah. You can't, oh, well, I hear you, but I'm going to go do this movie. Yeah. Because, I mean, it got to a point <laughs> where I, I think I saw that said that Angelina, jo- uh, Angelina Jolie was, like, worried for her kids. Yeah. Type of thing. It's just like, bro, like, and then it's so funny because um, there was a Korean-American movie 
I want to say just Korean movie. It was a Korean movie that was produced by Brad Pitt or directed by him or whatever that like won a bunch of awards. And the old lady who played, I think, like the grandmother, she won an award. And Brad Pitt was at the show. And she basically called him out and said, it's the first time I met you. You ain't, you didn't find no reason to come and speak to us. Mind you, we doing your movie. Right. You didn't find no way to come try to relate to us, talk to us. I think some of the conditions were kind of like subpar, but they was like, we're going to shoot this movie and, and kill it, basically. Yeah. And folks is like, they've been trying to tell y'all Brad Pitt's not the best. Yeah. Because it's like, if you, in my opinion, if you're willing to partner, I don't care how much money is in it. If you're willing to partner with somebody who, even if it hasn't been proven, has been accused by two of your life partners, hey, he doing X, Y, and Z. That should be the end all. It shouldn't be no if ands, or buts about you, it. You are who you associate with. Dang. <laughs> Dang. That's true. That's true. You are, no, somebody says you're the average of the five people you hang out with the most. That's what you are. Yeah. So just take that into consideration. If he's one of your five, mm-hmm. yeah. the other three probably, it's probably not Chris Tucker. <laughs> I don't think he's in that circle. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's tough, man. Yeah, I mean, and you hate to see it because even when they threw that on Tom Hanks last year, mm-hmm. I was like, "Damn, I like not Tom, not like Woody." Yeah. Um, but then they was like, "Oh, he moved to Greece, you know, where it's like a, it's like an illness over there." And I was like, "Oh, yeah." Well, I was, "Oh no." But yeah, so, uh, to 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 finish up lighter to to talk about movies, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go see uh, Shang Chi tomorrow. The, the, Damn, the, I forgot that came out. The new Marvel movie. Yep. Is I'm it gonna, in theaters? Or it's is it in, on uh, Disney too? It's in theaters. It's yeah. cheaper to just go to theaters, big yeah, dog. At this point, yeah, because yeah. then, yeah. It's just, just, but I get free HBO Max, so usually when that's when I watch my new movie. I am. Yeah. It's a couple movies on HBO Max supposed to be some hitters. I know uh, Hugh Jackman got one, Reminiscence. Yeah, that just I came believe. out. It's a movie. horror movie that's also coming out, Malignant. If it's yeah, not, that's coming yeah. out next week. I think. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna watch it, but I'm gonna let my girl tell me what else yeah. she thinks about <laughs> it. Like, in a scary movie. He will not watch this game. I, the fact that I booked that mo- that movie was the craziest thing to that me because I was sitting there reading at it. Three at 3 a.m. I'm like, a horror movie. Hmm. Me. And my girl was like, you. <laughs> I was like, and the I was, pod was like, you? You. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you sure? I, I, hey. I'm, Rico was like, no, it's not horror like horror, but like horror like a different horror. Yeah. yeah. I was like, it's yeah, it makes sense. It's, I a, got it's you. a subgenre of scary. You know, it's just a little frightening. It's frightening. That's yeah. <laughs> it's the Marlon Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, one last thing, because I know it's going to be funny. Did What's you guys up? see what Terry Crews tweeted? Oh, man. Jim Crow. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what did What's Terry do? He said, mm. he said, the best thing about being uninvited to the cookout is you never drink the Kool Aid. Oh, and I, want, I, I want to quote one of my favorite comedians, oh, Kev, on stage. No. What do the whites have on Terry Crews? <laughs> they got him in the high heels and a dress or something. Because dude is wild, bro. They got pictures of him or something. My thing is this. <laughs> when, when, when the first, when the stuff dropped about old dude touching up on him and he didn't beat him up, I'm like, okay, I get it. You don't want to affect your money. I would have. Lo- I would have knocked him out. I don't I care. Lost yeah. my- I, I would. I would have lost all. Forget it. I would have been broke. But I understand. Cool. You got like eighty-five kids to feed. Cool. I get you. But then all of a sudden, it's just like a gradual deteriorating. <laughs> just like he's just chipping away at Julius. We. This is not who we fell in love yeah, with. Bro. As yeah, chi- bro. What are you doing, bro? Doc might have took your spot. Doc might have took your spot. Mr. Omar. Yeah. Like, <laughs> goodness. Tragic, like what? Is, man, it is tragic. It is honestly <laughs> tragic. It's like why? Why? I don't. My, you, you're, you're hosting America's Got Talent. Okay, you're good. Yeah. Just don't yeah. do what Nick Cannon did, and you'll be just, fine. I, why does he open his mouth? Because you remember he went at the Me Too movement not too long ago too. Gabrielle Union. Oh, he did. Yeah. No, I, yeah. He one thing they she said she kind of felt alienated on the cast of AGT. And like they was like, well, did Terry Crew like Terry Crews never stood up for me? Like I think he said he. I think I don't want to put words in her mouth, but at least I read somewhere I believe that she said she like kind of went to him and was like, "Hey, they kind of like he was like, I don't see anything. <laughs> like they, they love me. Come here. <laughs> yeah. You see how I my chest? They love me. <laughs> yeah, he based his whole career off that. Yeah, he, like, had, he was in every old spice. My thing, it's like, bro, why, why, why? It, why? That, that that at the end of the day, it's just like Don't why why, why do that to yourself? Because it's it's not even like. He's booking roles. All you're doing is hosting AGT. Yeah. You can and still be a nigga and host AGT. Nick Cannon I, was doing it for the longest. He's so far past being a nigga, though. I mean, but <laughs> I'm saying, like, he... Like, was, he done lost his pass when dude got to fondling him at the party. I'm like, saying, you gotta lose your... Uh, no, 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 I'm just... Well, I get that. Like, no, trust me. Like I said, from my perspective, oh, boy, what has been knocked right. out. I don't care. But 
I, when he explained, I guess, I don't know, he was, I, I understood his explanation. I'm like, I don't agree. I wouldn't have did that. But I get your explanation. But just the whole just downward slope of BS you have put people on. Yeah. It's just because, like, bro, like, you, I don't understand. Like, you didn't have to be an actor anymore. So, obviously. Like, have you not been saving your money? So, I, no, I'm just saying, like, if you obviously felt that way where he put me in a position where, you know, this was my career. I'm like, yeah. well, you obviously made a career choice. That's, that's what you did. Because You wanted to improve yeah. your career, and now you want us to feel bad about it? Whatever he did, you approve. You had he had consent. No, no, he, I, I won't say that. How come? Because he didn't? The, all right, how come he didn't? That's just like I mean, look. Let me let me, <laughs> let me explain how it was. I don't want to say explain to me, but how certain, especially women, took it. The way they took it is this: because a lot of stuff has happened to female right. actors and whatnot. So what they were saying is the stand he was taking helped open the door for them to also be like, well, if somebody big, black with muscles can go through this and be like, you know what, I'm going to speak up about it instead of being the angry black man and lashing out. I, well, a lot of them were saying, well, now it kind of gives me more you know, hope to speak out on X, Y, and Z that happened. then you bash Gabrielle Union? I'm not. A, you, 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 listen, listen. <laughs> yeah. I, am not a, I am not agreeing with that. Right. What yeah, I am yeah. saying is at that time, that, that, that little point in time, that's what like the angle was. So people was like, okay, I can understand why he ain't just snap bro neck. Like because of well, every, I would have done it. This is not me. But no, but, but but I get the argument that you're trying and you're trying to get the the angry black man Jackie Robinson. I know this argument in and out. <laughs> I know this uh, this in and out. You, oh man, the angry black man. Of course, rape victims aren't gonna feel like they can't do the angry black man. But if you go out here and yo, he said fuck his career, threw it down because he protected what was his. Mm -hmm. That makes bigger stands than playing the victim. I'm not mad at that. So I, I, you I'm not mad at that either. You made a conscious choice to let this man touch on you and then go home, go to sleep next day, shower, do, look yourself in the mirror, then make this statement about, oh, yeah, I didn't want to be the angry black man. And we should tell women to what? You should tell women to what? Speak out against. They've been doing it. It mm -hmm. doesn't work. Yeah. If you fight back, they'll fight back against. They'll give them the strength to fight back against their boss. Their best friend that they feel is a little handsy. I, that that gives but them see, that that's tough because too, he because threw away his career. Well, if, if, career. if he actually loses his career, then yes. But my thing is, if he doesn't, then it's like, well, he's a strong black man. He's this, that, and the third. So like, I can't do that. It, like it he looks, did. It looks even better if he doesn't lose his career. Oh, he was able to stand up to his abuser, and he still stood on top. Now you got to perform the, the, a platform to fight on instead of agreeing, and I'm a victim too. Not going against the Me Too movement mm -hmm. because they're important, but yeah. it's turn the other cheek. I give you that. You got to turn it. Like, they're turning the other cheek. You don't, they don't want to be victims no more. Mm -hmm. So you're just saying, okay, yeah, a big black man can be a victim. We have been through this. We knew this in jail. Mm -hmm. How many drop the soap jokes is it? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But no, but that shit flies because it's a man. Mm. See, and this shit flies now because you this big man and you let him touch on you mm. because you wanted to be in a movie or you didn't want this to stop. No, Target's hiring and UPS is always hiring and Amazon's hiring. You didn't have to do this. You didn't have to. So I don't feel bad for you. You let that happen. So you got to live with that. That's all I'm saying about it. Nothing about the victims and or nothing about the other. And then it's like to go through that and then, like I said, get the support that you got. And then just throw and it And then away. just throw it all the way within five years. Facts. Because my thing is within that same year when he when he first announced yeah. everything that was going on, he started attacking D.L. Hughley. And at first I was like, okay, maybe D.L. just kind of came in on the wrong way about yeah. whatever going on. D.L. can be very forward. That's what it was. <laughs> but you so, can't so I, was, I was like... You okay, can't be mad at a comedian. comedian sometimes, you know, they, you they can't they, get mad at a comedian. But if it affects something that you went through, it's you like you can't get mad at a comedian. It's like the dude in the wheelchair. It's all funny, and then you get to laughing. Hey, I, it was funny when I was a nigga, but now I can't talk about you in the wheelchair. Why is that? You gotta play the game. You yeah. gotta play the game. Yeah. You can't be ah, and then you what are you talking about? What are you laughing? I know you're not laughing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, you bring that in there. If you stand there, stone faced, ain't got no reason. But now you laughed at them cracking on me. That opens the door for whatever you got going on. Hey. Don't 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 play in these games <laughs> if you don't want to be in these games. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, sure. Everything's on the table with comedy. Yeah, yeah. I know you ain't laughing. Hit different. It hit yeah. different. <laughs> it, you, man. Like, I, I've oh, stopped with many shit. a laughters. I've been, it, yeah. Dang, I go back. That to, shit was hilarious. I go back to the bathroom like, dang, that was hilarious. It's hilarious, <laughs> but these Jordans is a little busted. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be cool. Like, my line is <laughs> definitely looking like a, a, a slope right now. You I, know what I'm saying? I'm gonna you shut just, up. You just gotta know, and you should know with anybody. The in, Twitter and the internet has no, nope, no, no hold bar, none. So don't play this game if you don't want to play this game. And what's so crazy is that we make all these jokes and like he is securing the bag with he this foolishness. Yeah. And like, you can't hate AGT on it. AGT isn't going anywhere as long as he like, no, don't come up with some with somebody, no. pop, some woman popping out of nowhere. Oh, he did this to me. He's good for life, basically. Yeah. Because everybody want to see a big black man that can dance. At, <laughs> as long as he can still do that. Yeah. And you know, he's... Wherever you want, he's a charismatic person on TV. Right. Plus, so he also got all his older stuff that he could always go back. Right. So it's like he's never gonna lose that. But it's like when you alienate all the people who were hiring you, the Ice Cubes and and all the other black, the 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 Chris Rock. He, he, became, stuff. he lived long enough to see himself become the villain. He did. That's what he did. Yeah. <laughs> he was Julius. Couldn't see him not. He was in everything. Yeah, as Julius. He, yeah, he was Julius. He was he like was Julius. he was a dad. He was the TV he, dads up there with Uncle Phil. He was Phil. a rank. He was, he yeah, was he up was there right with Uncle there. Phil. I think I, I had him third. I had him third on my list. I you think see what third I'm or fourth. Yeah, he's looking like six, seventh now. <laughs> Does this affect <laughs> everybody? Hates it kind of affect, it kind of affects it because it's like it does look weird because it's like what because you're like looking at it and you're like damn Rochelle and Chris. They they had to. Well, Ro saying, Rochelle that, definitely carries. Instead of a big three, you got Rochelle and Chris. <laughs> you got to throw Greg in there. Yeah. <laughs> Greg was funny. Now Greg, Greg was good. Greg was good, but. But like, like people don't relate to Greg unless you had like a a, a white best yeah, friend white that was friend. like that. You had Drew. But, what is what personality does Drew have? Yeah. Drew was low key like his dad. He was just a pimp. Kind of, like, sort of. Tanya, everybody could relate to because oh, everybody had sister. that sister. Yeah, everybody yeah. had. But it was like, oh, guy. I had a mom whether she was black or Hispanic was like that, mm -hmm. yeah. or my dad was tight like that. You yeah. know, now it's like Chris. Okay. I didn't go to all white schools, so I can't really yeah. agree with this. Everybody did not hate me. Little yeah. kid on the block, is that is that the dude I gotta look up to yeah. now? Is I he was, gonna take his spot? Like come I was on. not getting robbed a daily yeah. for a yeah, dollar. Yeah, Let me hold it out. Bro. Julius was that real world connection that brought you in. He did. Yeah. The, the dad was nobody care about jobs. the kids. The show was about Chris. Didn't nobody care about the kids. It was Julius and Rochelle. You want to see what they had? You going was like, oh, what's they gonna do? Or Greg and Chris? Because how yeah. many times do you see the show and you're like, yo, my mom used to yell at me just like that wow. for doing, not do, for saying what? Yeah. I mean, like that episode where he's like, what? And he ends up on in the hospital bed yeah. with a shoe in his like, butt. Yo, no, that's might he as well. Off at the, at the he was dinner. going off, and he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Chris, yeah, yeah, was. what? And she started twitching. Her. I started twitching. <laughs> What was the one when she smacked the black off of? No, he smacked the black off Drew. That was like the second episode. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was like a one of them kind of like how Family Guy did like that a scenario thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is some of the remaining black we found. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah. But is there anything else we got before we get up? Uh, yes, couple things. Uh, prayers for Louisiana. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Prayers for out sure, to them. Sure. They're going through it. Yeah. Uh, and then Elijah McCain. Yes. Everybody oh, yeah, yeah. getting Go justice ahead. at that. Finally. All the paramedics accused of whatever the, what was it? Was it not? Was it neglect, what? was it? Or? I think it was neglect. The yeah, cops got accused were... for manslaughter, right? Were the cops, because I thought they, they were the paramedic officers, so they were like the. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. What, they're all being convinced, uh, convicted, convicted of uh, homicide, so mm -hmm. hopefully that goes well. Well, not, well, yeah, hopefully it goes well. We're getting some justice. Thankfully. Slowly but surely. Still got a long way to go. Yeah, but hey, some progress is better than none. Yeah. yeah, we'll keep our heads up and to the sky. For sure. We thank y'all for tuning in. If there's any questions you guys have, definitely DM us at friendly underscore fire on IG. You also can email us at friendlyfire2021 at gmail.com. Once again, friendlyfire2021 at gmail.com. Uh, any artists, sing your MP3s, whatever it is. If it's just an instrumental, if it's you rapping, you're singing, spoken word, it don't matter. No matter what language it is. If we like it, we're going to put it at the end of the podcast. Simple as that. Is there anything else we got before we get up out of here? Mm. Get on this train before we blow up. Yes, yeah. sir. I am Rico G-Baby, the zookeeper, friendly fire. Yeah. Be blessed. Bye, Peace. <laughs>